while you guys are in this place, Enoch, you suffer two points of exhaustion due yep. to the exertion of having a celestial being burst out of your soul and for its time, take a significant amount of your power with it. So you are, I think that's disadvantage on all skill checks. And oh. half movement. Half yeah. movement. Oh, oh my god. Like, that is rough, nasty, buddy. Guys. That is rough, really buddy. Nasty. very mean. The, the just, closer and closer you get to six, the worse it gets. Mm. Yeah. Well, just six is your dead. That's yeah. why. You die at six. <laughs> so, yes. Meanwhile, uh, Cena, having addressed you guys and taking in the situation, leads everyone out of the factory along with her guards. And, uh... With the assistance of the Chester City Guard, uh, and includes all of these subdued protectors that you guys so nicely tied up and ready for them to have manacles put on them and all that, some such. Is it possible for me to carry Scorpio? That <laughs> yes. <kind> of <laughs> yes, you are able to kind of put Scorpio's arm around your shoulder and lift him out. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, w I will, of course, be. Uh, requesting that we keep Ketrig for further <laughs> investigate uh, interrogation. Mm. Asking to keep Ketrig. Uh, you approach I mean, one of the guards and do so. I'm going to require a persuasion check from you because although uh, they do see you as another, you know, like law authority, they yeah, feel it's as though they want him first. Luckily, as I said, I have, like, pre-written scripts for this, so mm -hmm. let's defer to this one. I am the witch taker. <laughs> <laughs> They, Perfect. they know Very you're the good. witch taker, but uh, oh. they still they still want yeah, to, you know, basically I you're see. trying to convince them who gets Ketrig first. Okay, I'm the witch taker. that's what fair. Up, boom, boom. What the hell is this? Oh, no. <laughs> Shelby, <laughs> take your dice <laughs> luck back. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, uh, is chance. this sick luck? Is this sick dice luck? I don't like it's this. sick luck. <laughs> no, not, it's, it's your mm. turn to have the bad dice, Davy. Oh, I no, I was no, 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 no. have the bad luck. Well, uh, Davy took it, apparently, uh, uh, not Oh, you. in that case, fantastic. Let me defer to my second pre-written <laughs> script. Okay, I failed. You can I persuade failed. the guard. Could I okay. in any way help with like? Let me try for mm. like. like you can, this is my thing. I'll say <laughs> if you if you want, you can give her the help action, seeing as your yeah, relationship with I, your mother having to do with the guards. Yeah. You know, kind of sweet talking. That's them. what I wanted to do. Just being like, okay, you know, you know. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking with your mom and your mom, mom kind of like. Let, yeah. me, let them take the bad guy, mom. So, Renee, you, mom. May, you may roll persuasion with uh, with advantage. If you so there wish. you go. Okay. But 27. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Renee. Mm. Renee. Renee's just like, all right, it's just... Listen, Ketrig is not technically under our command. We got to him first. You know, it's just kind of like thirsties. Choosies, what do you... <laughs> yep. um, Fierce dibs. dibs. There it is. <laughs> dibs. dibs. There, there it is, dibs. And of course, you can the hear the word a reluctant, dibs. but seeing, seeing how this little goblin talks and how willingly he's able to give up information on, uh, on the uh, protectors as well as... God, what was their name? The leader. The Earth Genasi. Sina? Castilla. Oh, um, Castilla. 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 Yeah. Castilla. As, as willing as he is to give information about Castilia, they don't see him as much of a threat. And with your swaying words, they're willing to give him to you first. But they insist that they will do some more questioning of him over time and ask, you know, where they can find you when that oh, can happen. Fail. That is fair, but for now we're just going to, you know, just like patting Ketrig, like, for now, you know, we're just going to make sure that he's all set up in, you know, just... When you're patting him, he just kind of, like, <laughs> swats away your hand. <laughs> Do not treat the great Ketrig as some child! I am not treating you as a child, I am treating you as someone who is, who is important enough to get a pat on the back of a good job. Ooh. Important, yes, the great Ketrig is very important, and he just kind of oh, yes, like wow. brushes his himself <laughs> off of it. I just give Renee a look, shaking my head. Finally, Jeez. someone who acknowledges the great Ketrig's greatness. It's important. Two things we need to do mm. later. <laughs> you, know, you can find him either in in Chester City or Rockerwood. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. All right. <laughs> the rest of them, they uh kind of slowly, one by one, just like after some questioning each one, bringing them to a teleportation circle, presumably to take them in for further questioning in custody. And uh, uh, could I mm -hmm. could I stop them from taking the tiefling real quick? You can, yes. You you pull one guard aside and you can see the, the tiefling there. And let me show the portrait one more time. 
I was just hoping I could have a word with this one for a moment. The guard uh, uh, looks to Cena, who she nods at them, and at her command, they let him go. Manacles in, in wrists. Uh, she she she's like a, she's been generally pretty gentle with this one because you know I feel like out of all of them, she's the one she probably feels the worst for. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you think you're going to end up after they're done with you. Are you going back to Belvinus proper? Mm. You... They'll probably ship me back there. When I came here, it was still closed off, and I had to resort to not very nice means of getting out, so I've got a warrant for that. Well, I'd like to confine you in Melkinus proper. I think you probably have earned someone to buy you a drink and uh, help you find your feet. I was planning on doing a... F I think I want to find Sawpuller, and if I can't, at least do some sort of funeral service for him. I can tell you approximately where we found him. You'd like. I would like that very much. And uh, uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to say she like writes it down mm -hmm. for him, like shoves it in his pocket. Mm -hmm. Should be there. Don't imagine any of those illusion spells are still up, but it's not far outside of the walls of Belkinus themselves. And should you have any trouble, I'll be going back to Belkinus proper in about a week, assuming I finish my current job, and I'd be happy to help you and help bring him back and perform whatever funeral service you want done. And what's your payment? Why would I need payment? At this, he, he actually looks up and his eyes start to water a bit. And he, he clearly trying to hide it, like he just turns his face. She just like puts a hand on his shoulder. You're not the only person who's been affected by the necromancers. I can see somebody's hurt <laughs> pretty easily. He just rubs his nose with his shoulder to kind of clean his face. All right. What's your name? My name is Mortan. My name is Luna. It's wonderful to meet you. Luna. Better. You know, Luna. I was, I was a bit wrong about you, adventurers. You're not so bad. You could at least oh. hold yourself in a fight. Yes, yes, I like to think I can. Thank you, Luna. Of course, of course. There's no reason to thank me. Just try not to get in any more trouble like that. All right. All right. Okay. And uh, she'll let the guards take him. Aww. Real quick. <laughs> yep. As as he's passing by me, I just want to, without looking at him, ask. Out of curiosity, what was your bounty? Uh, <laughs> about f fifty gold pieces for exiting the city without proper authorities. Oh. I say nothing after. <laughs> Good luck, friend. <laughs> How big is the fine? Ah, too big. <laughs> ah, expensive. I see. Farewell. <laughs> okay. Yep. And he goes along with the guards. Uh, oh, as... I see. There was a different insinuation than what I meant to give. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was saying, how big's your bounty? Because I'm a bounty hunter. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, no, I think that's why I was concerned with that. <laughs> Good. Yes. Not I was going to pay his bounty and set him free. No, no. Yeah. That no, is no, not what we do no, here. No. As soon as he yeah, gets good. there, the witch good. takers are taking him in for money. Probably, probably exactly. poor, poor choice of what the bounty sent out by the guards, but the guards have him now. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Damn. That's, I mean, that, technically, we're the ones who brought him in. That I, is a separate problem to be solved yeah. later. That, that, that yeah. Is, yeah, that, that's like future witch taker problems. <laughs> <laughs> that's paperwork. Mm -hmm. And while, you know, while the guards are leading the, uh, the now kind of captured protectors one by one, you can see that Rotak as well, just like walking along, just completely calm, uh, stealing a glance at you, Renee. For continuing Renee, I'll just do a little well. like finger wag, finger <laughs> wag goodbye, like bye bye, like. Yep, and see you, around. you can see, you can read her lips, and then uh, she just mouths, "I'll see you when I get out." Aww, just Renee will wink. just do sort of like a little. She, Renee will wink back. It does sort of like a drinking motion of like we're getting <laughs> drinks after. We're gonna <laughs> drink. <laughs> all right, and while this process is going on, Cena. Approaches you all. Let me do, find do, do, her do. portrait one more time. <laughs> Not me. I'm never going to escape that with her name, am I? Yeah. Never. I, hey, Got it. Mouse. There it is. I'm not. I. I'm currently passed out behind a giant robot body. 
I mean, we all left. Oh, well, well, they yeah, they led you. They led you out. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, we'll leave him there. Listen, he needs. I mean, I can carry you out. Too, but I don't know if my fifteen strength can carry. Two if you men. insist to stay there, but you will have to leave eventually, as the guards are investigating the area and just like picking apart what has uh, happened and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I'm very much noticeably dragging my feet. Yeah, oh, for yeah, sure. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, you just had a fucking angel come out of your chest, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, um, <laughs> Thena Steelward approaches you all, and she she looks to you, uh, Luna. You know, Luna. When I mentioned spending a bit more time together, bringing in a large chunk of an organized crime ring was not what I initially had in mind. Well, that wasn't exactly my plans today either. It just kind of <laughs> happened. And Scorpio just speaks up. Trust me, officer. You'll get used to it. <laughs> oh, hmm. you two haven't met yet. Have you? Oh, and who is this? Scorpio. Told uh, you about him. Ah, yes. The confident one. She gives him a little smile. Ah, so this is going to be that, like, in-law scenario, isn't it? <laughs> 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 She's like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. You know, I thought I recognized you. Don't think I haven't forgotten about your own delinquency on fines, Mr. Whitemark. And you can see oh. that <gasps> Scorpio is just like... Oh, oh, you know about this. <clears throat> wait, 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 I haven't heard about this. Excuse uh, me. Oh, well, here. I may have roughed up a few more people than I needed to on a job. Uh, oh, is, this what you've been, is this what you've been saving up for, to pay your fines off? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, you can tell me and, and I'll help you. You know, guys. Uh, no, maybe later. I don't want to think about numbers right now. And he just oh, kind of, funny. like, lays two fingers on his forehead. <laughs> you can see that Cena is having a little bit of a laugh as well. Oh, as much as I would love to continue questioning him about this, I think I need to get him to a bed and... Ah, uh, before you do, seeing as we already have an investigator and his assistant in our midst, he she looks over at the two witch tapers. Mayhap you'd be so kind as to give me your side of the story. Oh, well... No. Don't worry, I can fill in. <laughs> I've uh, been very good at like the busy side, busy work <laughs> side. It's all I'm moving so fast. Wait, wait happened. a moment. Wait uh -huh. a moment. Wait a moment. <laughs> so, Listen. Renee, you don't have to roleplay this entire conversation if you so yeah, wish. Uh, will. I will ask you: Is there any information you intentionally leave out? Um. Personally, I think she would leave out the fact that they were like purposely recruiting people. She would leave out the fact that like she kind of looted the place. Mm -hmm. um, she would leave out the fact of um, how they got so like roughed up in the sense of I don't think Enoch wants everyone to know that his dad literally launched out of his chest. Mm -hmm. Do we want to hide the spine of death information too? Just because I'll hide that's... the spine of death information. Yeah, I don't cause... want her knowing about spine of death information yeah. too. Okay. We were specifically so, told basically, by, like, a, by We're the... talking about the, the um, protectors. Mm. It was all the protectors. Mm. You know? That's a and big Castilla ask. Was the... Huh? That's a big ask. The protectors will probably they're probably going to interrogate the protectors they take in and that's going to be the first thing they mention. I mean, we don't. We don't know if they will. We don't have to be aware of of. Listen, that we didn't happening. even see any of them. We sure, didn't sure. see any of the spine of death. So we. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we I'm don't assuming know. you just like uh, not mention it rather than say there yeah, was no I'm spine of death. It. You're just gonna I'm omitting omit the, the fact mentioning. that they were even part Yay, of it. I'm just like, I hey, saw lies of a mission. Of Good job. Mm -hmm. Lies of omission. Listen, I'm a pro. Listen, we were told not to lie. <laughs> Listen, we're on an off the books job that we're specifically exactly. hiding from other Belkinist officials. You don't need to exactly. explain lies of omission to me. That's fine. We're good. <laughs> like, I just. Preaching to the I choir. I saw a bunch of protectors there. A whole bunch of shit happened. There were a lot of explosions. I think there were a lot of robots involved. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. So Cena listens oh. intently to each word and takes uh, thorough notes and never interrupting, except for like very few times where she asks very simple questions. Mm -hmm. And after you finish your story, she finally speaks up. And you chose not to go to the authorities for this because... We were already in the area, and it seemed like it was a little bit of an important situation. I Listen, I love and respect you very much. I, the authorities do a great job. However, when it comes to, you know, all of the itty bitty little details of making sure that they're all organized, ready to go, you're planning and everything, there wasn't a lot of time to do that, and we were also a little bit... Uh, she holds know, up her hand to stop you. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. Mm -hmm. Fine. 
I'm assuming I'm anticipating that this will be the best answer I get for a time. She looks over at Nathaniel. Mr. Gainsby, I will require some time in the coming days to meet with some of your people so that we may hash out the legal details of these protector proceedings and your organization's involvement. It's a standard yes. procedure. I hope you can understand. You'll have to forgive me for right now. I have multiple shards of glass stuck in my abdomen. <laughs> it's making me a bit lightheaded. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I would very much like to take care of that with him. Ah, so. Yes, my apologies. She uh, calls out mm -hmm. to a couple of healers who kind of <laughs> just with their hands, you can see bright kind of gold emanation coming from them, removing bits of, you know, damage and debris from your bodies and slowly kind of closing any wounds that you may have. Uh, you all heal for five hit points. Give me, Yay! Give me them. Yay, give me, that's a quarter the, of my health. Uh, <laughs> while while we're getting, getting uh, dealt with by healers, um, could I give Scorpio my healing hands? <laughs> no. Yes, you may. <laughs> just... just <laughs> Um, that doesn't look very good, dear. As I'm like oh. touching like a bruise, like on his like, on his cheek, and yep. then I'll give him six hit points back. <laughs> yep, you can see him flinch uh, a bit. How much should we heal? <laughs> yeah. How much should we heal? Uh, five. Five. Okay. Yeah. You can right. see him flinch a bit. Ah, ooh, ooh, gentle sorry. love, gentle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. As, as all the, the glass is being pulled out of us, I'm saying, give them to me. Give them. <laughs> I'll I'll use them. Really? Oh. We don't even know how long these things last, and you're, you're going to do that? Wait, why don't we just head back to the inn? I can use I can use the feathers. Mm. Give Miss give Cena. Me. Yes. If I may ask, the tiefling that initially ran to get you, where is he? Well, he seemed to be a part of your organization, from my, what I remember. I assume he would be in your building. Yes, but with the aforementioned shards of glass and many fights breaking out, I lost track of him. I was wondering if you would have seen him. Mm, yes, we told him to stand aside. It didn't seem like he was well equipped to take on an entire organization that might be trying to start up a Warforge factory. He did not seem to have any very well equipped weapons on him, we'll say. Very good. I suppose I'll have to go find him myself then. Thank you. Mm, of course. And as much as you imply that you didn't take anything, Miss Renee. I think I know a little bit better. But that Warforge, fac me. That Warforge factory does have a like lot it. of important things. However, <laughs> as payment for your services, you may keep all that you've found within the factory, with a few exceptions. May my mages detect magic on you all briefly. It will only take a moment, and it's merely to make sure that there wasn't any world-ending or alternate dimension artifacts in there that may cause give cause for concern. Of course. So she says. She says that she gently like puts her hands behind her back and quickly takes off the the fingerless gloves because I don't know if they're magic or not, and I want to keep them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, those uh, those are important to me. We also probably need uh, to make sure. I don't think they're going to be world ending, so I think you should be fine. As she, <laughs> as she takes a couple of actually, no, you know what? I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. I, I will stand and say nothing, but okay. I won't object. I know it's going to come next, but I'm going to yeah. wait for it to happen. She calls <laughs> forth a another wizard guard who kind of goes through you guys one by one, and uh, just they wave a wand kind of over you guys from head to toe, and just like it seems to glow at certain points uh, throughout your body, and he's like, hmm, all right, interesting. And going through each one until he reaches you, Nathaniel, and it stops at one point. Whoa, now hold on there, buddy. Uh, looks like we got something no. of unprecedented magnitude of magic on you. <laughs> I give him my most pessimistic stare. <laughs> no cause for alarm. Uh, I'm just going to have to search you a bit more thoroughly. You mind emptying your pockets there, Mr. Witchtaker? Just your back one over that, here. That won't be necessary. And I'm going to pull out the Warforged heart. Oh, no. Soul. That one's fine. That won't last you any further. That thing mm. needs to be recharged by some powerful, like... Wizards or something. You could keep that. Uh, I look confused and I know what they're talking about. Reach back. What is in my back pocket? So you start uh, pulling out things and he levitates them for you so you don't have to place them on the ground uh, one by one until you pull out the stick of stickiness. Oh, Fucking oh, what? Oh my god! <laughs> No, not the stick! No the fucking stick. way is it the stick! Oh my god, I look Kate. at this. And this I, is the reason and why I took Identify. <laughs> okay, I'll pull it out and I'll be all like, don't mind this, this is a 
stick that I found. Oh, no, Wait. now there's your problem. That's a mighty dangerous artifact you got there, right there. That's sadly what? not. Huh? Uh, sadly, this? you're not going to be able to keep that one. Mighty what? dangerous. That didn't even come out of there. What, what? the hell? This is we a. Both that was with money. This is a twig. <laughs> we twig. I can we I that like look actual at gold. It was a failed twig. <laughs> can Wait, I just like I'm look so at? Confused. Can I just look at Cena and be like? Uh, she looks as baffled as the rest of you. <laughs> we bought that off a merchant near Belgium. No, I'm gonna hold. This. I'm gonna hold my hand up, and if he reaches for it, I'm gonna like just gently pull pull my hand back so that he can't take it immediately. And I'm going to say, if you're going to take this from me, then I'm going to need proper compensation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I did pay for this. This is something that we actually like purchased. You're not yeah, allowed to yes, seize. Right. You are not allowed to seize my property without giving me compensation. No, listen. Going to have to that thing will likely ravage your mind before it uploads your organs. Very uh, good. Then I'm sure that you can pay a very hefty price for it. Can you tell what it does? I... Well, I can't quite know because it's not from this world. Fact we don't know is why it's so scary. This thing ain't from our dimension. No, sir, it isn't. Well, see, fuck. <laughs> And then I lean forward the just a bit. Hell? So then I'm for, sure you have for this ransom, <laughs> I'm going to need you to do another persuasion check. Uh, okay. I don't suppose my like talking at all has like we're all talking at like what? No, this is not Cena's <laughs> place of expertise. So she doesn't know. She's trusting this wizard. Uh, she she lets you know mm -hmm. that she trusts trusts this wizard's uh, judgment. I wish I'd gotten a goddamn Damn receipt. It. Oh, damn it, damn it! No! No! I refuse! I'm using my inspiration! Yeah. I'm using Use it on this it. stupid bullshit roll! <laughs> I'm not, not losing it. this! I am not losing no. this! Not before we yes. can identify! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Give us the Much stick, better. No, I don't want to keep the stick! I just want the money! I don't <laughs> give a shit about the stick! I didn't give a shit about it before! All I care about is that he cares about it! <laughs> Yeah, we might. Oh, that's God. Fair, but I don't know what it does. So the wizard goes up to Cena and whispers in her ear, and you can see her eyes go wide. And how much is that worth? And he just whispers, and she just like face palms. <clears throat> All right, do it. I'm, I, I'm, oh, wait. okay. If you, you say so, Lieutenant. And he conjures up a large, hefty pouch of gold. It falls to an, his hand, just tring. And hands it over to you. Seven hundred gold pieces for that little stuff there, buddy. Are we gonna upgrade our equipment now? Okay, what is this? Stick. This is Nathaniel Stick. He bought with his own shit. money. <laughs> Holy shit! Seven hundred. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not Talk sure exactly what you mean. on investment. No, I'm really not sure serious. where this we comes I'm, from. I'm yeah, not I know. Case. Serious. Calm the fuck down. I have like gold. I'm fine. I'm and in cool, any case, I will I'm, of course <laughs> place the stick in his hand and say, "A very reasonable trade." Oh, of course. Thank you, sir. Thanks for keeping the realm safe. And he's holding it very delicately with like two fingers and quickly conjures a portal and tosses it in. We need um, to find some more see, shit from not there. Sina? Uh, yes? Where did they say that was from? She puts one hand on your shoulder. Trust me, you don't want to know. I think I absolutely want to know, because we've been carrying that thing around. I'd like to know if we're cursed or something. Perhaps another time. I wanted to know, and he told me. You shouldn't have told me, and she points to the wizard, but you did. <laughs> Trust me, and I'm telling you, you don't want to know. <laughs> I just look at, I look at the like, Right now, Tharsden is rolling over in his chains. I'm, I'm looking at... <laughs> I'm looking at Cena. I'm holding the Warforged soul at this point, and I'm like, would you like to make another trade? Um, you know what? I'm gonna let you two deal with this. I'm gonna take these two, pointing at Scorpio and Enoch, <laughs> because both are hurt boys. Take them back to the inn and get them patched up, yeah? Of course. I think with that, we are done here. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, um, thank you. You have a good day, Mr. Gainsby. A pleasure doing business with you. And yeah, Damn. so. <laughs> so, are you going to go shopping with all of that money? Are you going to save it for something special? I imagine that at the very least I can go for some tea, perhaps some oh, coffee. Oh, at the very least, of course. Uh, when Cena's out of earshot, just going to kind of lean over, I would suggest you check out the marketplace because if we're about to leave the cloverway, you might 
want a few more healing potions. But I have enough <laughs> ma- I have enough gold that we can all afford something. It's not too much, but it should be something for all of us. Aww. At the very least, I'm going to want to take time to re- recuperate. As I mentioned before, I have multiple stab wounds. Yeah, you also don't look that good. What did we get you patched up to? Uh, if you would like, oh, you, you can sit. Look terrible, actually. Um, if you like, you can give me your clothes, and I can also help um, fix them up a bit. It will take a little bit of time, but I'll probably have all night. So don't worry, I'll take care of my. Nah, uh, you're you're going to bed. Sorry, but you're going to sleep <laughs> because you look like you're about to pass out and. Uh, Stitches first. I'll stitch you up and then you'll get some sleep. First things first. Stitches first. first. Okay, all right. First. It seems okay. 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 So what right. is what is the plan <laughs> everyone wants to do? One by one. Let's go okay. down the line. Uh, with Luna, what is your plan? Take her boys back to and take care of her <laughs> boys. Right. Okay. That is my so plan. what? Uh, I assume you're gonna go back to the uh, old inn that you were staying at with uh, Scorpio and Renee that first time. Uh, next in line, Renee, what is your plan? I'm probably helping Luna with the guys, and then, um, <laughs> once everything's sort of settled, and if Nathaniel is comfortable enough to give the coat over so I can mend it, then fantastic. If not, no worries. Mm-hmm. Um, but then at the end of it all, I'm probably going to send a message to my dad. Oh. Because I still have that third level spell, and I I was saving it specifically for this reason. Because I've been mm. stressing about that forever. <laughs> I'm I'm here for Renee yelling okay. at me. Okay. Okay. I'm here for that. <laughs> uh, we can either do that now or do that after everybody else is done. I'll wait until everyone's like figured out what they're doing. Okay. I have I don't I don't mind. All right. Uh, yeah, Nathaniel. But that's what I'm gonna do. What is your plan? So I don't know what dingy inn you're trying to take us to, but unless there is a very good reason for you to take us to it, I'm taking everyone to my good inn because oh. I have a lot of money now. Oh, and I will- yeah. Oh We're shit. And, oh, and well as, yes, and and I and I will uh, I will pay for everybody to have a room to like at the very least spend one night. It's it's like about end of day, right? Yeah, I don't know it's what day just it, about. What time it it's is. like late evening, almost nighttime. Mm-hmm. The sun has nearly set, pretty mm-hmm. much. I imagine, regardless, Good. we're all tired enough to just relax the rest of the day. Exactly. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, once. Cool. Thank you. Uh, once there, I'm absolutely not giving Renee my coat because this is supposed to be like relaxation time mm-hmm. i'm going to give it to her here i'm gonna make sure i i'm gonna ask him if he knows where the fuck uh <laughs> what's his name julius julius, julius yeah. is yeah. uh yes and you know he tells you that uh he he insisted that they follow your plan to the letter but apparently there was a scuffle between julius and cyril and an argument Uh-oh. and something let one thing led to another and apparently the guards were called uh, right. even julius though it was not a part of your instructions <laughs> Does that mean? Does that mean they are in jail? Where are they? No, they're not. Uh, Rahir tells oh. you that they are back at the office. Which office? Uh, My office. Th- well, the office that is behind, you know, Rahir's little, uh, you know, market store that where he sells strange wares that nobody would oh, buy. Oh, I see. Understood. Does it seem like they would be in the mood to be sent for? Like, if I asked for them to come here? Oh, yes. If you asked for them, they would... Uh, Rahir would call them immediately. Right, right, right. No, I understand that. Uh, did, did it seem like they were in the mood that they would respond? Like, yes. they would They would absolutely... Okay, fantastic. Yes. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, I'm not going to... Yeah, that, that's all I'm going to do for now, because okay. uh, I don't want to do too much. And Enoch, do you go along with Luna taking you to the... F- to the fancy inn as paid for by Nathaniel. Uh, of course. Mm-hmm. And by the time I get there, I do ask uh, to see if somebody would fetch a would uh, fetch Serene to come here. Uh, for yeah, for a you're moment. able to. You yeah. uh, you tell like one of the kind of servants of the inn if they're able to get somebody. Uh, you give a description and directions, and they head on out for you. All right, and as I s- make my way to the room in which I was given delightfully, to which I, I oh wait, think... Are we all staying in, in rooms of, like, two? are we splitting? Are we all getting our own room? Like, how are you deciding to do... How did you decide to do this, Nathaniel? Like, what is the plan? Yeah. He said everyone gets a room. Oh, my... <gasps> I think we all just got a room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I'm okay feet. with. No one bother me. <laughs> <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm bothered. <laughs> As uh, in, I, I'm going to my own personal room, mm -hmm. and I am just gonna piece by piece start taking everything off and dress down the shirt. Okay. And I am going to just start stitching away at whatever I can. Yep. And since we're on you, we might as well start with you with what you're doing. So after you're stitching down and making sure you're all uh, cleaned up and like heal like closing wounds as best you can yeah um uh, i'm a bit shaky right now as i'm feeling my body just revolt yeah and uh yeah so serene uh, rather you do hear a knock on the door and the recognizable voice of serene hello uh enoch are you in there yes come on in yep she opens in the door and let me show their portrait one more time <laughs> And as she comes in, seeing that you look like shit, uh, yeah. she just gasps a little bit and takes a, a step back. My gosh, you look like you've been through a sweatshop. What happened? Let's just say my mother's memory is well insecured. Oh. Now, I need your help because I have a few more wounds on my back. Oh, yes, yes, of course. She just kind of like yeah. stumbles a little bit, but like quickly goes to kneel down and help you. Yeah. Uh, as she might notice, uh, because this will be the first time, I think, well, nobody from the party knows this, but from Serene's perspective, uh, the entirety, if not the entire torso and a majority of the arms are just riddled with scarring and mm. pock holes from stabs and also uh, a severe burr mark around where the uh, the arm was initially cut off. Mm. which pretty much was the cauterizing of, you know, a lost limb. She so she helps you just, like, kind of yeah. holding some wounds and, like, kind of dabbing some, like, wet cloth to, like, clean up different parts of you. Yeah. And she it's speaks multiple up. Multiple different sounds and grunts <laughs> through the pain. So you say the memories of Siatora came back to you. So you know then. <sighs> Yeah. As far as I'm aware, whatever it was that plagued Siatora plagued me, and it's gone now. She, You can see that she stops cleaning for a moment, and something dawns on her. She was trying to protect you. She was trying, unfortunately. With my birth, something latched on and decided to stick around longer than it should have. She, like, w like wagging her finger as if she's connected a few things. That's why she went mad. Enoch. A mixture of postpartum depression and I'm relatively sure fear of the lost voice that was probably in her. No, no, no. You see, I didn't believe it until now, but I had my suspicions. Therm was attempting some forbidden magic, worse even than necromancy, to gain immense power to destroy Siatora. And apparently that was enough to keep him around after his demise. She entrapped him and banished him, but I guess he stuck around and that's why mm -hmm. she didn't talk to anyone. She seemed not herself. And when she died must have been when he latched onto you. Well, ain't that a fucking nightmare scenario and feeling one uh one hook into one of the stitches just mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. she she stops for a moment and just like kind of goes to your front and just puts both hands on your shoulders see a love to enoch and seeing as you seem to have gotten rid of whatever it is was causing her trouble i think now she can finally be at rest well, when I decided to put him down, I told him that he should go apologize. <laughs> I not don't likely know. that will happen. I don't know that she would accept it. I'm not saying that she should. I'm just saying that he needs to apologize. And that is true. Because it's the right thing to do. My God, my body. Well, she gets up a little bit. I think that's the best I can do short of, you know, any magical healing. Unfortunately, I'm a little spent after today. We actually yeah. had a few people come in, and I said a few prayers. 
Oh, I'm proud of you. Yeah. If you don't mind. Oh, yes, of course, of course. You, um, rest well, Enoch. Thank you. She heads Sorry. out of the room. And when she does, in the middle of your room, you feel a gentle warmth travel through you. And flashes of imagery pass through your mind, blueprints, designs, inventions, all the things Alter had done for you, all of the creations over the course of your life, now laid bare to you. And it becomes clear to you now that they were never Alter's designs, but your own from your infancy, memories long locked away, being attempted to be unearthed by a madman trying to learn of your mother's secrets. But now they are yours, as they were always meant to be. As I open my eyes from seeing all this, as I try to stare across the room to a mirror. You look in, and it's just you. That's relieving. And I immediately fall onto the bed, still completely, <laughs> like, completely topless, on the bed, and just passed out. And that night, so that's it for me. As you lower your eyelids, you sleep the most soundly you ever have in years. I want to, s I want to sleep like I did when I was a boy. You do so. And with How Enoch's night you? over, uh, we're we're gonna go to a Luna. Oh, oh. Um. Enoch, no. <laughs> All right, so Luna, you 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 know were able to bring uh, Enoch to his room, you know, before all of that happened, and you you able you bring um, Scorpio in as well, and he's just lying on the bed, just staring up at the ceiling. For the sake of what I want to do, can I say I've already gone and done the thing? Yes, I yes, I'll, I'll say you you did like pr probably like he's after you laid him there. And yeah, you probably went out and do your thing. Bit. He slept for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I'd probably just be coming back in the room, seeing him awake. Mm -hmm. Yes, he would. He would be awake actually, because he has a lot of concern for you. Uh, <laughs> and no. he would just be just kind of scratching his arm. You can see that uh, thanks to the guards, he has like a little bit of a wrapping and like arm cast, kind of not a cast, but like arm sling rather. He's been he's been patched up, my boy. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, no, should I just go over to him? Oh, Want there you are. I to see you were up. Yeah, yeah, well, I wanted to say goodnight to you first, and thank you for rescuing me. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Um, actually, I have something for you. Oh, yay, okay. more gifts. <laughs> it's something I've, want, I've been thinking about for a while, and I think I've just put it off too long. Um... And she'll like, uh, I'm assuming he's like sitting on the bed? He is, yes. He's sitting and listening intently. And he is, you can see he he was going to go crack wise something, but he holds his tongue. Oh. Um, she goes to sit down with him and uh, like, I guess takes the hand that's mm -hmm. not in a sling. Yeah, yeah. He handily uh, takes it as well. We have been together for quite some time, you know? <laughs> I don't remember a time where we went. It's funny how we met too. But we've always been a really good team, even mm. back then, when we didn't exactly uh, want the other to take the job. That but is true. You, you stuck with me throughout all of this. And honestly, I can't pay you enough for that. Most women <laughs> find me incredibly obnoxious. <laughs> well, most women are missing out. Um, and uh, she goes into her pocket, uh, and she takes something out and keeps it clasped in like her hand. I don't exactly know how to do this kind of thing, but there's no one else. I'd rather ask this. You said you wanted to go into being partners. You can well, see that we... uh, his eyes start to water a bit. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, she's... of course, yes. <laughs> And he goes, like, he goes to grab, to, to like lunge for you, but he just like gets up and inch. Ow, 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 ow. I'm God, no, no, no. Calm down, calm down. I, well, I know green's your favorite color. So, and I open my hands and one of the stones that I took from the factory has been set into a silver band. Aw, Luna Icewind, I do. <laughs> Good. Good. I don't know what I'd say if you said no. 
and she will kiss him. Oh, yep. He, with his good arm, just like holds your back to him. And you guys share the night together. Yay! <laughs> gently, <laughs> gently, of course. Oh god, no, that boy is very hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to my parents' house. <laughs> Fuck you and your gender norms, damn it. Okay, we've done it, we've defeated gender. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, suck the soul out of you. <laughs> it's like, please don't, not tonight. No, not there. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Renee, what are you doing in the meantime? Finally by herself, the smile just, like, drops, and her whole body, like, sags. Um, she just, like, has taken a bath, like, probably a nice hot bath in the little, like, bathhouse area, so she's, like, getting herself in comfy clothes, just relaxing, or trying to relax, but there's still one thing she's gotta do. And so she, with the one thing that she had saved, and thank God she didn't have to use it for the other thing that she would have had to, will cast um, Sending. Mm. And she is going to uh, message her father. Mm. Uh, the following words. Not dead, in case you uh, want to ask. Seeing if you are either dead or screwed us over, just let me know. And you, after a little while, get a message back. Doing fine. Your alchemist friend is accelerating too fast. I'm okay. trying to stall them from ascending. Be careful with Kara is rubbing her eyes, like, with one hand. <sighs> he said, be careful of who? Kara. Clara? Oh, Kara, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't trust it, though, since it's him, but I'll just make sure to tell people in the morning. But for now, I gotta get some sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, you go to sleep, and Nathaniel, what are you doing before you call it a night? There is a hot springs. <laughs> there is. Mm -hmm. I am a cold-blooded creature. I need warmth <laughs> and warm things. Mm -hmm. I go to that hot springs, and I lean my head back and float atop it. Yep. And uh, I assume you're more importantly, you're, I assume you're anticipating your uh, your employees to get there at some point. Yes, correct. Yeah, and eventually, <laughs> eventually, you do hear a knock on the door. Uh, is this the door of the hot springs or the door of my room? Well, you you have a hot springs in your room. Oh, right. Good. Of course. Good. In that case, you know what? Perhaps, uh, perhaps I will be a bit professional and <laughs> ensure that I am robed and not floating around in the water. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not like they interrupt you just as you got in either. It's like, you know, yeah. you were able to get some yeah, okay. time to clean yourself yeah. off and stuff. Fantastic. Uh, in that case, I will, uh, I, I will call out one moment and I'll get some dressing on mm -hmm. so that I'm not just in a bathrobe. I need to look presentable. It's very important. Yep. Uh, and so after a bit of time, I'll, uh, look through the people if there is one. Yes, you open up and you can see that Rahir actually has both the tiefling and the human kind of like holding them from behind their shirts as if a <laughs> scolding parent. Very good. Please enter inside and I'll open the door all the way. Yep, they all come in and Rahir waits at the door, hands just kind of like behind his back standing guard almost. But you can see he's <laughs> not good. that intimidating. But, Thank you, uh, Rahir. Julius and Cyril, I'm going to show their portraits real quick. Uh, da, 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 once again. I got you. Well, I got you for me. Yeah, I need to show the audience again. Boop, boop, boop. So yeah, uh, Julius and Cyril, they, mm -hmm. after being just kind of let go by Rahir, uh, Julius speak, speaks up. Listen, boss, I ain't snitched on nobody's plans. It was Cyril here who got all scared of Baxi and ran off to the chief in the first sign of trouble. Hey, you, you were the one who said that they weren't lo looking good during the stakeout. That was, the, that was one elf supposed to take up all those protectors anyway. 
I told you, that's where we jump in and bash him in the head with a lead pipe. And then they continue to bicker and argue back and forth. Both of you, please. They they both I... quiet down and just kind of like nudge each other with the elbow, just like pushing. I've had a very long day. I killed an angel. Perhaps it was a god. It's hard to tell. I've been stabbed. Shit. I've been stabbed, punched. Many annoying things happened. And when I returned, I was shocked. My employees were nowhere to be found. You can see that they both look at each other and they're both kind of sweating. I understand that situations like this are very frightful. It's very difficult to know what to do. But the one thing that you must understand you cannot do is flee. Even if you go to get the guards, you need to return immediately. Why didn't you? You went to get them. Where did you go after? Uh, Rahir speaks up. They went straight back to the office, sir. And you can see Julius just darts daggers at him. That is unfortunate. Well, <clears throat> luckily we did not need the protection of the guard. We had things settled where we were. However, if we had gotten ourselves in a bad situation, then the guard would have been a welcome sight. You can see that uh, Cyril just has a little smile a little bit, looking to Julius as if see, as if to go like, wow, things, uh, see, things worked out pretty all right. Of course, running to the guards implied that you didn't expect us to be able to get to our job done. And his smile immediately goes away. Oof. You didn't, you didn't trust me, Cyril. And that's very unfortunate to know. Uh, you, l listen, boss, I'm just, I'm sorry, man. It's just all these the necromancers and the protectors. This is so much. And I don't mm. know if I can handle it all. Mm. So I guess I panicked. I'm going to put a shoulder or put a hand on his shoulder. I'm going to lean down and I'm going to say, I will work to reinstill that trust in the future. Please, the next time that you need, that you find the need, to go running for the guards. Warn us first. Without saying a word, he simply nods his head. Besides that, and I raise up. <laughs> Things in Chester City have gotten uh, complicated. Well, less complicated. But for you, I'm going to need you to ensure that... What was the goblin's name? I can never remember. Catrag. I was being facetious. How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. What's going I like being helpful. Uh, Catrag. He's going to be interrogated soon. I need to make sure that once he's finished, we have him. They both nod. And then afterwards, I'm going to ask politely for the two of you to ensure he finds his way to Rucklewood. There is an agent there, a dragonborn. I would like him to meet this dragonborn. And from there, I would like this dragonborn to travel with Ketrick as he sees fit. They both look at each other at uh, the mention of Ruggawood. And uh, you can s see that... Uh... Yes, I know. The two of you have a complicated history with the town. I don't expect you to show your faces there. And if you do, then you are going to be... Well, I don't need to tell you. Uh, all right, boss. And uh, you can see that Julius just nods as well. All right, well, we'll get right on it. Now, ensure, of course, that this dragonborn understands that Ketrig is not now his personal plaything. This is a temporary period to take stock in the virtues of the goblin. You see, I'm not certain if he is a trustworthy sort. And I believe that this dragonborn has the naivety to suss that sort of thing out for me. Does that make sense? They both look at each other, shrug and nod. Good. Well, if that's all then. And I'll motion to the door. Yep, Rahir opens it. They both uh, start to head on back. And uh, Julius is like, 
possible? Why? Why is boss? What's somebody? For, why would he station somebody in such a uh, backwater place like that? And then Julius just like elbows him. Shut up! I'm getting in trouble again. <clears throat> and then they head on out. Right here gives a little bow. Will that be all, Mr. Gainsby? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm <laughs> all of a sudden my I just my head. You're just, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay. Gentle reminder, very sick. Uh, <laughs> He's okay. Uh, fuck it. I, uh, in, in response to them saying that, yeah, in, in, in response to, to, to that little bickering between Cyril, Cyril and, and Julius, uh, I am going to speak up and I'll say, I would like to have someone positioned everywhere. How do you think it was so easy to find the two of you? Ooh. They both look at each other and uh, you can see Cyril is like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Uh, and then to, uh, to we're here, uh, asking, uh, yeah, if it's that will be all, uh, I will of course say, no, I have, uh, my uniform has been damaged again. I was stabbed multiple times. Oh Trump's my class. goodness. Well, yes, I will take care of it seven. immediately, Mr. Gainsby. Very good. And as well, I've been holding off on asking you to do this until I was sure that I was going to be leaving the city. But, by the morning, I'm going to need you to copy down a few things for me. And I'm going to take from my coat all of uh, the Maharian diary pages. Ah! Whoa! I'm going to hand them to him and I'm going to say, I'm going to need you to copy these down and keep them incredibly secret. Yes, of course, Mr. If Gainsby. This... This investigation that I am on is very dangerous. If something were to happen to me, I want you to release these to the public. <gasps> but only if something were to happen to me. Is that understood? Yes. Uh, for for once, like Rahir has narrows his eyes in confidence and viewing you as a partner. Of course, Mr. Gainsby. Very good. In that case, that is all. Hmm. Rahir looks like he's got like a satisfied smile carrying your clothes and uh, kind of packing the papers in a hidden compartment in his, pan in, in his pocket and they head out and you are left to your own devices. Very good. Uh, for the rest of my time, I'm going to use my encode thought spell to look back at multiple points just in uh, the, these past few hours just looking back at them, studying them again, trying to both detox from the situation, but also get a better grasp of everything that has happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and that'll be me. Nice. Okay, and everyone has a nice night, relaxing, recovering. The day breaks, you all are incredibly well rested after doing an exhausting dungeon crawl in the previous... Uh, Abandoned Warforge factory. You all wake up, and how does your morning routine go? How do you think it goes? As per <laughs> usual, I'm dolling myself up, mm -hmm. making sure that none of my weariness is showing. Let's go do our little ca charisma Let's do check, our why charisma don't we? Charisma check, Let's ladies see. and gentlemen. Yeah. How good looking are you going to be? Oh my oh, god! Shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Zoom in. Zoom in. Hyper realistic <laughs> stars everywhere. It's a good thing you said that you're not a, you're not a competition for Rotax Rot uh, little audition because you would have taken it. <laughs> oh. Listen, if like I could actually radiate sparkles, I'm like radiating sparkles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Well, okay. Damn. No one will I, ever know how tired I am. I was hoping to sneak out before Scorpio wakes up and talk to Renee, but I guess Renee is just gonna <laughs> no, be real it's probably fucking. By the time you like get out there, and knock on the door, she's like just finished. Yeah, so, no. Like... <laughs> oh, yeah, she, like, Scorpio would be door, like... knocked out. He would be knocked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, and just she, recovering I, from I his wounds. Him. I want him yeah. to sleep as long as possible, but there's something serious I need to talk to Renee about. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> Renee will like open her door and just be like, "Oh, good morning, you know, what can I do for you oh. today? What's you going look, on? You look." Lovely today, Renee. Uh, well, I try. It looks like I succeeded. 
No, no, I think you succeeded all right. If I, can take away, if I can take away a, a woman who's already taken, that will be a success in my book. She gives you a little wink of like, ah. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, at that, Luna will kind of hold up her left hand. There is a ring on it now. Oh, uh -huh. damn, you're like, thank <gasps> you for real. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I think uh, I'm a little far gone, but I can at least appreciate another beautiful woman. Um, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Yes. I, I meant to a few days ago, but obviously we've had a lot more going on. <laughs> oh yes, we've had plenty, plenty of happenings. On it's kind of a little bit chaotic. May I? May I step inside? And she'll like gesture to ask if she can uh, like. Uh, Sure. Just she like just wants to close the door. Do, do you want me to do your hair again? Are you trying to intimidate someone else today? What no, is going no, no. on? Um, as the door shuts, I <laughs> had a question about your father, actually. I just didn't know how to ask this with, you know, everything going on. Ah, well, there is no good, good way of asking about that, considering all of this yeah. shit mm -hmm. that you've kind of already seen. There's probably a lot of questions already. Which um, makes sense. Well, there's one thing that he's... Something that he said doesn't make sense. And it's been eating at me for a few days. Hmm. And that's... His story didn't make sense as to why he raised my father. Because the statue was also severely damaged. If he was just running from Thorn, why would the statue be damaged too when it's so far away? I think there was something more he was trying to do that he wasn't saying. And I... I don't, I don't know, I thought maybe you, he, you know him more than I do, and frankly, if I see him again, I can't guarantee you. I won't put a sword through him, but I'm not going to be nice either. I'm not expecting you to be nice to him, especially after what he's done. I just, I wanted to know if you think maybe I'm reading too far into something, or if maybe he was lying. I don't... I don't know. I don't know his motive. I don't know this thorn. I just know that it doesn't make sense that the statue in the middle of Yesdal was so heavily desecrated. And then the grave. And then not connected. All I know that that man can do is lie. I don't know why he would in that case though. Other than to save his own skin in a very precarious situation. But that's where, um, this, that's where the destruction of the statue makes no sense. If he was really just using him like a tool to protect himself, then why was the statue ruined? Why was the grave demolished? Like, that was that was very deliberate. I very much doubt bringing a corpse out of the ground is going to shatter the stone and destroy a statue hundreds of yards away. It probably wouldn't, but I don't know necromancy. If it would make you feel any better, I can ask, but I don't know what kind of answer until I will get and I won't be able to really tell if he's telling the truth or not unless we find him again. She kind of tilts her head. How could you ask if you don't know where he is? Uh, just jazz hands, magic. Uh, it's wish. a hell of a thing. It, it really is and I have a very, uh, I have a very limited understanding of it, admittedly. Don't worry, it's a very complicated thing, and especially with all the different kinds of magic you can do, it's 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 a lot to take in, and it can do a, a vast variety of dif different things. I would appreciate if you were able to find the information, but I also, if I understand, if you don't want to speak to him either, I'm sure we'll so, I'm sure we're going to see him again. Luna, I'm going to have to speak to him regardless, and he is now technically an environment for us. As long as he's not screwing us over, but... Well, if he is, I have some steel that he can meet. Provided you're okay with that. Oh, no, listen, if he's fucking us over, I don't really, really care what happens to him, so... Well, if you would not mind, if you're able to get that information, it would be appreciated. If not just for a bit of closure for what happened. I'll try to save something for the end of the day, to ask. If Thank you. it would make you comfortable. Thank you. Um, of course. You want to come downstairs to get breakfast then? I have to wake sure. up. Sure. But... My gods, I could use something to eat. <sighs> me too. Me too. Um, let me go wake him up real quick. 
And I'll go I can it. go with you to wake him up. I have a hell of a way to do so. I, if it involves dumping water on him, please don't. No, 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 no. It's something much more fun. Sure, why not? <laughs> 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 and yeah, guess we'll do that. All right. Okay, very nice. So you guys are going to go do that. Um, Nathaniel, your morning, actually, someone comes to you before you do anything. Who in the world? <laughs> it, well, someone knocks on your door very gently. This better be right here. All right, I'm going <gasps> to open the door. Yep, and indeed it is. As instructed, first thing in the morning, he comes to you, folded clothes and the papers, the original papers that you gave him, uh, right on top and on top of those, your hat, repaired, back together, in pristine condition. For you, Mr. Gainsby. Fantastic. I'm going to put all of this back on, put the papers back under my cloak, and I'm going to say to him once more, now you must remember... These papers, these documents you have, are very important to keep secret, keep safe. Like they were my own life, sir. Well, that's good, because they very well might be. Well, in any case, I'm going to be leaving shortly. Leaving? Out of the city, sir? I believe so. Well, it was nice to have you visit once again, Mr. Gainsby. Best of luck with your job, and I will be here when you need me. Yes, it has been pleasant having you around. I, with that, I dispense with the pleasantries and <laughs> get back to set up. <laughs> yeah, well, and then the door closes mid-sentence. <laughs> <laughs> and Raheem he, is such a good boy. Let him do his best. He did, and he did I gave him best. a compliment. God. <laughs> and then I ended the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and lastly, Enoch. How does your morning go? Your so, <clears throat> your two stacks of exhaustion are gone, and you slept soundly. Uh, actually, only one uh, exhaustion is gone. Uh, you can only get one, one level of uh, exhaustion Not per here. rest. Okay. Not oh, here. You're so oh, generous, Kai. Well, no, this, this is a top. This is a top tier in. Like, yep. First Remember, we had, like, there were benefits yeah. for staying here. Oh, fancy oh. We, we massage oh. that psychological damage away. Yeah. <laughs> it is a, firstly, it's a top-tier hotel, and also, considering it was one of the first well, you know, well rests that you've had in many, many years. Oh my god, yay! Rich people don't suffer okay. exhaustion. Rich people are doing so well. Nope. Well, to start off with, I am, uh... I'm definitely gonna go and take a uh, a bath as I wrap around a uh, a very uh, a very thick piece of like almost tarp around the uh, where the arm attachment is, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna start walking to uh, to the hot spring. Okay, hot springs. Yeah. And mm. yeah, so you take a nice bath and clean yourself off. And I'm going to say that, uh, yeah. you know, all of you do your little morning routine. And if it's all right, I'll mm. eventually do meet up, you know, downstairs yeah. to have breakfast Scorpio's with one another. Scorpio's got like mascara all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> he has like oh? the spectacle on his eye because he was sleeping and I had a fun way to wake him up. So he's got a spectacle on his eye. He's got a fun little like <laughs> mustache thing going on. You now were drawing on him? Whiskers. Yes. I'm not so sure how much of that Luna would have had. Yeah, I was gonna say, Luna, how oh, much did you allow to I, this to happen? I would, have I, I, I would have allowed probably the monocle, but okay, when fair. it started going into putting shit in his beard, she's like, no, no, that's going to take forever for him to clean up, and I'm going to have to hear, hear about that. Fine, just hours. the monocle then. Just the monocle then. Yes, and I'm probably going to have to clean it off of him when he, uh, as soon as he wakes up, or I will hear God, about this for days. God, you wipe his ass too? <laughs> Do you wipe his ass too? Because oh my God. No, but the man did just get his ass kicked for me. Scorpio! <laughs> like, Ash is answering. Time to wake up! Oh my god. Oh, he just, like, like grunts and. Oh my god. Look, Renee, that wasn't necessary. The man just got his ass kicked. Can you just let him wake up? Oh, come on, at least give me a little credit. I fended for myself. I didn't get my ass kicked. Well, he, That's he, right. He's doing his best. Let him uh, do his own thing. He's, listen, he's, you did a wonderful job, but it was three on one. Yeah, yeah, it was. Mm. 
he gets up and he sees the mirror across the room and the monocle that has been drawn on his eye. <laughs> and he just like, he just tilts his head back and forth and he takes his good hand to like rub his chin. What do you think? Too sophisticated? <laughs> I'm glad you're a good sport. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what's wrong with you of guys. Of course, I, I have to it. figure out what I want to wear on our special day, right? Might as well try a bunch of new looks. Oh yeah, you guys are going to have to go like actually shopping for shit. Uh, Who well, are you having arranged the wedding? Are you guys going to have I, like an elope kind of thing? Well, or are you going to get like a have my, a big? Event? I think that's a future bridge we need to cross some yeah, other time. I, my, <sighs> my thoughts were just getting it officiated at church and dealing with the after thing later. But you know, perhaps after the job is done. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because uh, <laughs> I think we're heading out today. I, I I have a quick question. Do I hear all this ruckus as I'm walking back from the screen? Like, they're talking about this as they've made their way down to the breakfast table. They're just discussing the whole thing. Uh, all right, uh, I'm ha I'm down to my skivvies and a towel, and you're coming to your towel. Wait, the, 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 the hot spring is in your room. As I'm walking back, the hot spring is in your room. room. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so well then. Uh, <laughs> I well, actually, first I have to fix all the holes in my jacket. And oh armor. yeah, yeah, some mending will fix that right yeah, up. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I spend some time mending, and I'm I'm just gonna head down, uh, head down to the rest of everybody, and okay. I look like I, like I look like I am for a long for the first time in a long time relatively more clean than usual. Oh my goodness, he actually looks like he hasn't slept in shit. <laughs> I take Is it. that jacket blue? Is it has it always been blue? Aye, looking sharp, my friend. Take it that you got a good rest last night, you know? It was for the first time in a long time one of the best rests I've ever had. And I uh, am hungry. What does, what does freedom feel like, you know? And she's, like, she's giving you a very genuine, like, expression. No, that makes sense. Um, when your entire world gets pulled upside down, you don't really know what to do with it, Artel. <laughs> it takes a hot minute to even realize what you might even try to do to escape all of it later. Well, I mean, not escape, per se, but more like uh, discover would probably be what you do, yes? It sounded like I've... you had a very long bucket list of things you wanted to do when you were free. Something about climbing the mountains and sailing the seas. Oh, God. I want to, I think the first thing I'll do when I get back to Belkinus is that I might plan a trip up to one of the monk monasteries and sit down with them and probably smoke a bowl with them. <laughs> and that sound nice. nice. You know, it's good to have a dream. <laughs> Listen, if it gets you through the day, by God, that's all you need. Do be careful not it's to take anything from the northern region. They are far too strong. Believe me. Oh, don't tell him that. He drank whatever the fuck it is you guys have at your hometown. And I immediately <laughs> regret telling him that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, oh, that was, that was this hilarious. One. You saw what he drank, what Eris gave him, right? Right, but I thought oh. that was a one-off. No, no, no. Oh, he's probably crazy enough to do it again. Oh, well, here's bollocks. the thing. I know I could do this one. And I try to look for anybody on the wait staff. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're able to catch somebody just kind of like going yeah. around and... Okay, I, I told him to come over. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, I do have to ask this. Uh, can I get a bottle of whiskey from you? You see oh. that it is a drow man. He's leaning down. Uh, yes, of course, sir. For breakfast, yes. Enoch. No, this Let's... is for later. This is celebratory. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to start early, and I was going to be so excited. <laughs> now I'm just disappointed I'm, in you. Will that be the entire bottle then, sir? Not a drunk. <laughs> You're uh, not fun as what you are. <laughs> I'll share. Good. Uh, and and also, um, if if you mind, uh, can I just get like a long? <laughs> I wonder if I could ask for this. Can I get a, a, an inch thick piece of round steel for about five inches long? Uh, sir, this is an probably inn. find that. Yeah, you can probably <laughs> right, find that. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> 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 You know, you know, I'm just testing don't... it out. This place is very fancy. I will yeah. have your bottle in a little bit, sir. And he walks Thank off. Thank you. I, I, okay. You ask for the weirdest things. Is that just like a prerequisite for places for you to stay? Like, do they have to have like pools and <laughs> like, I don't know, a fucking like supply closet? 
Really? All the time. Why? Yeah. Cause step. I'm an engineer. <laughs> Nathaniel, you well, step no, in. No, definitely wants an engineer. Step. Step. Yep. Oh, good morning, Nathaniel. Oh, good, good morning. morning. Well, if, gonna... if we're all here, breakfast is on me. So I think we all need it. Actually, breakfast oh. is on oh, me. So it comes with hungry. the rooms. Uh, all right, so <laughs> we got we have mom, mom and dad <laughs> obeying, yes? Then <laughs> I suppose so. I guess. Mom and dad. <laughs> Fine by me. I'm not one to live. To watch a gift horse in the mouth, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I stare at Scorpio for a moment. I... Trying something new then. <laughs> Listen, let the man be spoiled. We're celebrating. Oh. A couple of things, actually. <laughs> I'm celebrating I am our... scarfing down a bunch of eggs and bacon right now. <laughs> yep. Celebrating our survival, I suppose. Well, yes, yeah, survival, freedom, also imprisonment. Well, not imprisonment. I'm saying that very harshly. I'm sorry, you two. <laughs> she just points to the And I suppose. Luna is just like, excuse me. <laughs> well, no, no. Really... Scorpio looks <laughs> looks over to Luna and just kind of like rubbing his shoulder against her as well. They're the worst prison mates to be with. I suppose. Oh. Oh, you know, that's, that's also true. I narrow my eyes. It could have, you know, I... it could have been worse. It could have been when I met you. Oh, I look... Their hands, Nathaniel. Look at their hands. <laughs> I look at their hands. I look at Scorpio's hand. I see the ring. I look at Luna's. It clicks. Scorpio stole a ring. Made <laughs> Luna his accomplice. <laughs> ah. That's not how that works, Nathaniel. You I didn't say that out loud. I know. I know. <laughs> ah, I see. Congratulations to both of you. Well, thank you. Oh shit, y'all getting married. What? Need someone yes, to officiate I'm... the wedding. Can Good. you do that? Uh, I think I we got can. someone coming. I know I can. I think that's that's a bit further down the road. I'd like to come back alive from this job first. But yes. there was something I wanted to ask if we could do before we leave the city. Huh? What is that? Uh, Luna knows the name of this place, because Luna definitely heard about it. But that temple, the temple of all the gods. Oh, the temple of the Eternals, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I wanted to stop by the temple of the Eternals to see if there was... Anybody who might follow the Raven Queen. I had my sword looked at yesterday, and I have a few questions I need answered. Oh. Well. well, I wish that I could make this a shorter journey, but religion, love, these things are outside of my purview. I'm sure we can wait at least ten minutes for her to try and figure it out. It's yes. Well, uh, actually, as I begin to kind of start pulling out some tools, I might be able to no, I mean, how many times have th has this been identified for, it's, for Christ's sake? It's, that's the thing, it's not the sword. It's me. Oh. My, hmm. my mother cleared some information for me yesterday. And do you remember that story I told you? The one about my father in the war. Yes. yes. She pretty much confirmed what I already assumed, is that my being the way I am was because of the deal, but I did not know that the woman that he made a deal with was the Raven Queen. Oh. The goddess of death. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Shit. Well, um, that is definitely, uh, interesting. What would she have to gain from a mortal soldier? That's what I don't know. Apparently she doesn't have... She doesn't... She doesn't create champions. She doesn't create followers. So her reasoning for appearing to my father the way she did doesn't make any sense. I mean... Yes, she pours necromancy, but there was plenty of necromancy going on at the time. What the hell... Why was it my father that she chose to go to? And why did she decide to gift him a sword and a, a blessed child? I don't know, and I not exactly that good Joe at religion. Uh Joe, in in my knowing my history as a church boy, um, would I have any extra information on the Raven Queen just what as is your religion stat? Uh, my religion is plus two. 
plus two. You would know just about the same thing that Luna does about the Raven Queen that she's explained. Uh, let me see. You would know that, of course, that she doesn't make champions, as she said. She does have a few followers, just a, as a reasonably well-known god and well-respected and practiced god that it's, you know, help fairy people to the afterlife and stuff like that. She is not one you, you pray to to, you know, help give yourself strength, not like a war god or like a like a prosperity god or anything like that. It's more so someone who you pray to to give last rites to someone, you know, put them to rest, make sure that they're able to travel to the afterlife soundly. Mm. So someone calling upon her in an hour of need such as that is very strange and unordinary, uh, you know, not very ordinary. Would the much nature less of someone, her... much less her answering in that manner specifically. Now there have been instances of her answering. This is common knowledge that sometimes the gods will answer prayers. Um, the Raven Queen doesn't usually have much to answer for because, you know, what can she do with someone dead aside from ferry them to the afterlife? You know. Mm. So this is the only instance you've ever heard of of her answering a prayer that doesn't have to be putting someone to rest. If I were to probably say it, like, if I were to think about it, fate. Well, believe it or not, your uh, lovely Raven Queen is kind of one of those creatures that string together fate. Uh, well, that's kind that's, of a really vague answer. I'd no, imagine. No, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in and do a little lore correction there, and that is yeah. not the general belief of what the Raven Queen is. Yeah. It, it, okay. No. Generally, Look, so generally just, speaking, I'm, just I'm only to Enoch ferry believes. the dead. Uh, yeah. But, no, Enoch but no, doesn't that's, believe that it. That is not the that's common how belief. I've of, always seen it. Well, uh, like that's I will say that's not how the general see. general that, populace does. Yeah. Either way, the answer is very vague. Luna, can I be perfectly honest with you? I don't think any of us really know a lot about the Raven Queen, like, at all. I'm okay with going to the church, but unless we find someone who actually follows the Raven Queen in the church, I, yeah. I really doubt that we're going to get any more information specifically. Uh, By all means, we can continue to, to think about it, and even, hell, after all this is over, I'll find out more, but... Something tells me I'm going to continue to find out more. Because... Hopefully. Well, there well, we go. I just... I don't like feeling like I'm a pawn of some otherworldly god. I Everyone's a pawn in someone's game. The only way to get out of it is figure out how to outwit the game itself. Yes, well, and I'd the like only way to... to do that is to keep playing. Well, I'd like to know what game I'm playing first. Because, quite frankly, a goddess that only stands for what I for what I understand, the, her, most strong, her strongest ideals are all things must die. Death is, not, is absolute. That's why she hates necromancy. So... If death is absolute, why does she stop the death of so many soldiers just to give a man a sword and a magic daughter? It doesn't make sense, and that's why I'm hoping to find someone who may actually have followed her text. Your father, your father was fighting to stop the necromancers. Yes, I feel so, like that's reason enough. But so were so many others. I will warn you, there have been more than one occasion where on an investigations, the culprit has been a person driven to madness, trying to understand the will of gods. He's right there. Where? Are you pointing at Enoch? <laughs> I'm not pointing at Enoch. <laughs> Rude! Well, yeah. Okay. Hey, yo, well, because, listen, because I've Renee, done my Renee, best. you said he's right there, and I thought you were alluding to Enoch. <laughs> I meant that, like, Nathaniel is right in this case. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. What? My bad. A misinterpretation a on my part. Misinterpretation <laughs> on my part. That would not have been inaccurate. That would not have been inaccurate. In any case. <laughs> Sorry. In any case. My poor presumption. Uh, in in any fine. case. We have been in Chester City for far too long. We need to move. It will be quick. I just want to see if there's anybody who follows her, and if not, I'm going to leave and just keep working it out on my own. It's worked out this far. It's yeah, very good. I would say that uh, this would take only like an hour or two. Yeah, yeah. I I'm understand. Not I'm not as a character. I'm or as a player. I'm not saying she can't do it. I just yeah. I'm trying to press uh, motives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're I, I know we're on a time crunch. So 
Well, if y'all are going to be heading out for an hour, I got an hour to start looking at some of those things that we found in the factory, if y'all don't mind, uh, you know, handing oh, that's them right. Identify. for a bit. Yep. I am going to be ritual casting several items for the next hour. Okay. So let's do that first. If everyone is in agreement that the plan is to go to the church, uh, the Temple of the Eternals, uh, before you head out of Chester City. Mm-hmm. The glove, Renee's glove, I'm going to paste it in the chat, are called Helping Hands. You can Ooh. see that. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, uh, I love them. Oh my finger. god. Uh, oh my next, god. the wrenches. Here are the wrenches. They're called Graviton okay. wrenches. They're a throwing right. weapon. Here are oh. the wor the boots. They're called worker's boots. Here is the sword hilt. It is a mechanized flame tongue. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. Mm -hmm. Emerald orb. Okay, so the orb, uh, here it is. You Ooh, the that gem of sensory, pro sensory protection. Okay. So I, I am all glasses and, and nothing but <gasps> little tools sitting at a table, kind of just inspecting. I have all these magical items, and I'm all like... Shit. Sorry, let's skip that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so that's uh that's all your magic items. Ooh. Okay. I th I, I, uh, I think you got a rod, right? <laughs> I, I think I accidentally called out the rod. name. We got a rod. Um but yeah, we we had a rod and I don't remember what it is. Because I remember okay. I remember specifically accidentally calling out the name despite the fact you guys don't know what it is, so this is that. Okay. Gravity Somebody has rod. this. Uh, uh, Nathaniel does. Yes. Metal and, uh, Wait, I have a gravity rod? It. Yeah, because I gave it to you last time. Remember? Oh, the well, all all the, the items are back with me right now. Yeah, so the un the unidentified see. wand. Wand. Sorry. Yeah. Got a gravity rod. Mm-hmm. We're actually giving a check. Uh, attacks okay. of opportunity. Okay, so it's just like I'm I'm currently writing things down, tagging them on the item, and then just kind of putting them side to side, so that way we can know what's going where. Yep, yep. Mechanized uh, flame tongue. That's interesting. I'm keeping that. Not fucking, fucking, if you want to get close enough to hit something, be my fucking guest. Oh, wait, shit. No, it's not, it's, it's not supposed to provoke attacks of opportunity. Sorry. It's, I, it says yeah. does. I think it I does, meant to wrote. Does not. It's supposed does not. to be does yeah. not. Got okay. it. It does not. I don't know why I didn't write that in the docs. It, it does not provoke. So, that gem okay. of sensory protection sounds real good for... That is my mistake. First stuff. All right. But yeah, no, so, interesting. Uh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Y'all okay. know what this stuff is. Okay. Y'all yeah. right. are, cool, cool. are out at that's a church. Not, that's not us. <laughs> that's not the characters. That's the players. Come yeah, on. Yeah, the players are saying yeah. it, dude. Yeah, yeah, we're just like okay, ooh, right, shiny. Right. That's our. It's half our job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'm definitely taking a pair of workers' boots and that mechanized flame tongue. So. And yeah, have fun getting closer, Mister Ranged Fighter. Yeah. yeah. I killed something. I wanna... killed something literally last game up close. <laughs> After I cut its, its wings off. off. <laughs> yeah, After well. I cut its wings off. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's only the last hit that matters, right? Uh, okay, God. so you guys are gonna head to the Temple of Eternal Sun? Yep. I suppose so. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yep, yep I think yep, I yep. might ask Scorpio to stay at the inn. Mm -hmm. He did get hurt yesterday, and I'm not taking any chances. That boy you needs to rest. You don't have to baby yeah. him! He's right. been resting about the same as everyone here! He speaks up. Alright, but when you leave, I do want to see you off. If that's alright? Of course. Of course. I'm not gonna leave without saying goodbye. Not it's your fiancé, not your baby. It's going to be okay. Pat, pat, I, pat. That, <laughs> as soon as we're out of earshot, she's like, I don't think you understand how often it is that he ends up with new scars when I leave him places. Okay? Then it doesn't I'm just... I'm just then it doesn't surprise concerned. me that you guys are together all the time. I mean, oh my god, I've, I've seen you go into so many things multiple times. No wonder you work so well together. It doesn't surprise me. She points. You're okay. still standing, and he's still standing. Yes. She points to like the big scar that goes up up her cheek. Oh yeah, no, he was there when I got this one, actually. Okay. But 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 listen, I'm just. I don't have a lot of people I'm attached to, and I might be a little overbearing. Just bear with me. Please. No, I, under I understand. I just, I just, sorry, I'm just gonna like 
I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just putting my opinion out there. <laughs> you guys hear clang, 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 clang on the upstairs. It's just like, fuck, fuck. That you know, it's probably fine. That'll be fine. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you guys are going to go. Um, could I say that Enoch finishes his identifying and goes along with? Uh, in, no, for each, uh, because it's ritual cast, it's 10 minutes for each, each. ritual. Mm. So I am here the entire hour. Can I? I'm waiting oh, for geez. them to come back. Okay, because I really yeah. don't want to split the party. Yeah. But Perfect. if that is the case, that is the case. Um, yeah. He can just meet up with us by the time we're done with it, and then we'll just head out from the church. I yeah, will make You know what? Let's make this a plot point. I will stay with Enoch. Okay, oh. wow. Because I and, and my character has nothing to do with this plot line. That's fair. Well, but does have plenty to do with Enoch. I, <laughs> well, oh. if we're gonna leave the boys there, then yeah. <laughs> the reason, the reason being, I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal the curtain a little bit now, is because Luna going to the church is an important thing. I am afraid of not all the characters being there for it. But then if you guys, I'm gonna drag okay. Enoch to, to the church. He's just identifying uh, as he's walking, and Nathaniel yeah. will be his guide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, of course, I'll I'll have the assistance of Kuro. Kuro will will carry there we a number go. of things. Thank you. Yeah. Decision you the back. made. Um, yeah. Kuro pulls you from the front. There we Thank go. Thank you for yeah, going yeah, along yeah. with my slight railroading. I promise it no, is worth it. Right. And You're, You're good. It's good. It's cool. It's as soon as I finish an item, as soon as I finish one item, it's like, hey, Renee, uh, these gloves do this. Yeah, so as we're walking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like, hey, Renee, these gloves, they're super awesome. Here you go. And Much appreciated. Okay, so yes. done. Who yep. wants some fire resistance <sighs> boots? <laughs> Okay, we can, we can divvy out the yeah. items. We'll, we'll divvy those Throws out at the end of the yeah. session. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, you guys head over to the Church of the Eternals. The Warforge at the front recognizes you, Nathaniel, gives the same spiel, and you head on inside. Not and paying you. They make you pay for... That's extortion. It is absolutely I'm extortion. I'm flipping tables and whipping people. This ain't right. Oh my... You will do no such thing, because I'm not cleaning up your mess today. It's just... You get put in jail, we're leaving you here. It is most certainly extortion, and you guys head into the various, you see, <laughs> you pass by the various certainly. different halls of the different gods and pantheons and stuff, and you do find that there is one to the Raven Queen, unattended. Oh, sh oh shit. Yeah, so it is unattended. Keep in mind, this is a what would Jesus do moment because flipping tables and whipping people out of the house of God is yes. not off the table. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Got it. <laughs> I, um, can I just... And then uh, when you approach it as well, uh, Luna, your your sword goes ice cold. Um, I kind of look at the others and like, may I have a moment? It's doing that thing again as I'm... Listen, if it's doing the thing, then I'll do more reason for us to stay together. Look, I know that you all... I mean, you just said you just said you don't want me doing anything crazy, but this isn't the being a matter of you oh, being no, no, smothered. No. Like, this is a matter of just like... Oh, no, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Just... Oh. Just wanted to pray for a moment. That's all. Okay. Sorry. After everything has happened, I got a little bit. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, can't we do it? It's just, no. It's... You're rubbing off on me. What did you just say? You're rubbing off on me. Now I'm becoming mother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Come on. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but I just wasn't expecting it. Anyway, mm -hmm. go play. Go play. <laughs> yeah. Um, I keep a hand on the sword and I approach the. Uh, Mm -hmm. the, the shrine, I suppose. What does the shrine look like? So the shrine has various different types of candles. A uh, symbol of the Raven Queen insert here. I don't exactly know uh, how you intended. It's just you a, intended. the Raven Queen symbol is just a raven's head on like a blue shield. I right, 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 of course. At least that's the Feyron one that I use. So. And it, it looks as though this place has not had the best upkeep. It's a little bit dusty. You can see the particles kind of floating through the air lit up by the light coming through some of the windows. And it doesn't seem like anyone comes in here all that often. But Can there is a there is there is a mat to kneel at and kind of a bowl, you know, for offerings and such. It looks very empty. Um, as is the rest of the room. Could I light the candles? Yeah, you most certainly can. I think uh shall Luna will light the candles, um, and set the sword in front of the kneeling of the prayer mat. Mm -hmm. um, it is almost unbearably cold to hold now, like almost frostbitten. Yeah, I'll set it down, um, 
in front of me, uh, and kneel. I don't exactly know how to do this. Never really reached out to anything like this before. But you put me here for some reason. And you came to him for some reason. And I know it is... Your in... It is... It was you. That is the reason my father is still here. Isn't it? The Why sword starts me. to levitate above the ground. Blade pointed down, still in the sheath. And it starts to warp and change and flash and... As if it's something's about to burst out, but it stops, and you hear a voice emanating from it. You have done well, child. Keep going. It is not a voice you recognize. I don't understand. And just then, the blade drops ding, 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 onto the floor. Did we all hear that voice, or was it just Luna? Just Luna. But you did hear like what a little, a little. What the fuck happened with that sound? <laughs> yep. But but that but that. Hmm. That thing was floating? <laughs> Do you believe that's not the weirdest thing this thing has done so far? No, absolutely that not! That was really it's cool! It's the best thing that I've ever seen, so... You might uh, well, Actually, I also saw it drag you around a little bit. So would you mind just kind of, you know, filling us in? And um, what's the fact uh, just happened? Before I even respond to all of that, I want to pick up the sword and summon Echo Dad. Yep, you summon Echo Dad, and he looks just the same as he always did. I think I know why you followed her. You're just as cryptic as she is, aren't you? And uh, after a moment, I'll dismiss it, Just pick up the sword, resheath it, <laughs> and uh, turn to the others. Have a good I conversation with Dad? <laughs> no, not him. I heard something else. Oh, great. You didn't creep you. It said to keep going. I was doing well. Okay. I've never heard that voice before. And she just kind of shakes her head. This is why I don't get involved in this kind of thing. Well, you don't get involved and yet here we are in the middle of a church in the middle of a place that it literally worships the goddess of death, so... Even if you weren't part of it then, you probably are now. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I'm very uneasy here. At the commotion, you hear from kind of like the, you know, like a pastor's room, this rummaging. And a muffled voice, is there anyone out there? The, the normal priest is not here. And you can, you can see out of the room, a very familiar looking goblin comes out. <gasps> wait, 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 no, it can't be. The goblin from the first it's episode? It's Cricket, it's Cricket, it's Cricket, it's Cricket, it's Cricket, it's Cricket, it's Has, it, has his entire has his entire being improved? Okay. I need no, to know. there is a shop, to know. but his shop is not here. Notice that there is a shop list. The shop is not here because you, yes. did, you guys didn't uh, see him at the shop. Damn he's it, here. No, that's cool shit. I cast here. mind sliver. <laughs> <laughs> you will not. I will oh, mage slay you. Oh, it gods! It's Glickyak. Oh, Glickyak notices you guys under the dim candlelight. You attractive and pleasant adventurers. <laughs> You gave, uh, you gave Greg oh. yeah, coin! Oh, it's wonderful to that see we you did. again. Ooh, hello, Greg Yak. Uh, How what? have you been? Oh, ooh, long story. Greg Yak found business savvy merchant. He say business is gamble. So we gamble with Greg Yak's few coin. If Greg Yak you lose, admit business world not for him. And if Greg Yak win, he let Greg Yak start own business. What happened? Greg Yak lost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, but Krikniak not give up, and Merton said, that is good. What good business person does, never give up. Give up. He showed Krikniak how to sweet talk and offer special deals, and give Krikniak several of his wares to start Krikniak's own business back up. Well, what are you doing here? Ooh, Viscount slowly open yeah. up travel for select few, guard folk, royal family, and certain merchants, including Krikniak. Oh, oh well, well, that's good. But, I, I mean, what are you doing in the church? Oh, ah, uh, Grickyak looking for business partner. Turtle friend. Usually comes, pay visit to Raven Queen. Not find him in a while. Concerned. Turtle, you say? Mm -hmm. huh. By the fucking way, he's so adorable. Yeah, this is adorable. he's fucking precious. How fucking dare you? Um, so, well, did you last hear of your daughter? 
Not a friend. Hmm. Usually comes here to pay worship and visit family. Not heard of him for a few days. Krikiak very concerned. Uh, Though Krikiak has already been given much from friend adventures, may you do one final kindness? Of course, of course. What do you need? Uh, please assure that Tortle is, if Tortle friend is alive, name is Bullworth. Still needs Bullworth. to help Krikiak move heavy cargo. Do you know where, where he usually is? Hmm. Has place where family stays around this area, and he kind of d describes a, a, uh, a path to where he is somewhere in the kind of urban uh, district of Chester City. Not too oh far from God, here. Oh my God, he's still in Chester! I, I just look at the others. We can we can do this a different time. I know that we are a bit on a tight schedule. Mm, I mean... I, I think that would be best, honestly. We don't even know if they're even here. As I, much as I'm gonna to have say, to admit it. it. We are running out of time. Right. You can see Grickyak lower his shoulders in disappointment. I, I'm now sorry. I did not, now, I did not say I wouldn't do it. I'm just on a job first. And when I'm I going get to. Back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at Grikyak. How much? Oh? Oh, uh, Grikyak pay large sum. Great business partner and better friend. Would give anything to ensure safety. Name price. They are, they are inside of this city. Mm hmm. How far? How, he he like motion. He, like, he told us about he, like, where. It was like an hour he away, said, away, right? It's in the. He said an hour away. Uh, like it's a district. Yeah. I don't less, think we less than an hour away. And however, an the majority of the time would he just says like a general area where he might be, but through his searching was not able to find him. Yeah. Uh, in that case, wait, wait, wait. wait. He said a general area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that he could not. Mm, that this he, is a, a whole last himself, thing. It's I will. I will say it's not going to be a whole ass thing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do instead then. In that case, I'm going to reach into my pocket. I am going to pull out some gold, however much it costs, because I can't think right now. I'm very high. And then I'm going to, <laughs> and then I'm going to drop it. Uh, and then I'm going to drop it in Grickyak's hand, and I'm going to say, This will afford four horses that will make up for the time that you are wasting us. I'm going to find your friend, and then you are going to give me the restitution money. Is that acceptable? Oh, yes, very much so. Thank you. Thank you, kindly adventurers. Of course, of course. Very good. Renee is and just kind of like got this little cheeky grin on her face of like, I turn oh. and walk out without further questions. Okay, so how much was that and how much are you expecting back? Uh, I don't know how much a horse is. Uh, that is a good <laughs> like, question. Yeah, out of, out of character, I do not know how much a I horse is. Let like, me... Hold on, hold on. Like, but, I, but of course, I will be giving him enough money to get four horses from here to city oh, so of take name it to the town. City so we can save time. Oh. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. That, that's my goal here. Uh, yeah. Horses are, uh, according, uh, according to Roll20, riding horses are 75 gold each. Oh. Uh, I can do it. I can afford that. I mean, I was going to say we can uh, do three, and I don't mind riding with not, someone. Yeah, this, this is... Uh, yeah, sure, sure. How about yeah, two horses, and then we'll double up on them? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Okay, 150 gold. Yeah. All right. There we fantastic. Go. I will give him 150 gold. Now. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I don't want to give it to fucking Grick Yak, but yes, I'll give him 150... Wait, can I roll insight just to be, just, just to be safe? You know? yeah, I don't okay. give a shit yeah. who it is. This is 150 fucking gold. <laughs> go ahead and roll that insight. But I love him, you're on. You can see that he's got puppy dog eyes and like at the the near like as you guys were like gently turning him down you can see that he he is kind of like very disappointed he is kind of looking oh. down towards the ground you can see it looks like he doesn't have a lot of options Oh. Damn it he's an amazing liar all right okay <laughs> then I give him the 150 gold and 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 that will afford two horses, and then I walk out without a further word. Okay. And I'm gonna go to where the fuck this place is. Um, Renee has just kind of got this like very so, like sweet smile on her face of like, look at him helping yeah, people. Yeah, Luna looks it's taken aback. Look at it. <laughs> like there is. She looks mm -hmm. like surprised. Renee just got this face of like I knew it. <laughs> N Nathaniel. I am walking out without uh, yeah, question. No, I'm, fo I'm following. <laughs> you after gotta you. catch up. <laughs> yeah, no, I imagine we're all walking together. You're yeah. Okay. You're speed walking, right. and as you yeah, just, I, <laughs> I am speed walking. I'm very yeah, visibly. You I'm very seen. visibly annoyed by this. I, thank you, Nathaniel. You didn't have to do that. I, this could have waited. No, I had to, for multiple reasons. 
All right. Is it because it's just Grykiak or... No, I don't really care about Grykiak. But this person might have information. How dare you? But this person... <laughs> the DM dare. would like to insight on that. <laughs> uh, I just, like, I, can't help well, but... Like, you're so powerful, you don't have stats. What the hell would your insight roll be? I care, I know, I care about Gr- I care about Grykiak in, in, in some kind of way, but not not in the, oh, he's such a cute goblin way. Uh, oh, sure. allow, to, to explain, I will say... Uh, first and most... Uh, firstly... And this person might have information regarding the Raven Queen, which will help you. Secondly, Grykiak will be a merchant. A merchant that has very close ties to me. Ah. Close ties to all of us, really. I see, but... I see where you're going with that. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Still. Other business ventures don't matter. But having a merchant with close ties to my organization would make for a very good fellow. He wants to help. Uh, Still, regardless of your reasoning. <laughs> Respect on the bottom line, but... Yeah, really? okay. Yeah, is... Th- thank me by getting this done post haste. I still I want be... to be out of here very quickly. Yes, sir. I will be quick. All right. You are with your fucking massive as shit investigation <laughs> stat. <laughs> I walk go. in and know everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes, thank <laughs> you, please. <laughs> it only takes <laughs> it only takes a few sharp questions to a few individuals, uh, like very well-worded questions to get the right answers that you need. Following the tracks and trails, hearing about a band of hooligans, and following into an alleyway. Now, this is a reused map, but it's just for functionality. That's this okay. is not the same map that you saw before. That's um, okay. Lore-wise. But yep. you see a, I turn on bat vision. a bunch yeah. of uh, humanoids cornering a... Portal Detective vision in a, an alleyway, and you can see Jesus that Christ. they're all kind of out of breath. Seems like they were chasing him for a little while, and they're they. You hear one say, "There, finally got you." And you guys can put your tokens on the board, as you can see that there is a fear bulk, tabaxi, uh, gnome, oh, and air yes. genasi. Uh, I've never seen this map before in my life. I saw it. It was mine. Mm-hmm. Remember when I got Castilia that first time with the cart? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, well, great. Well, never mind then. Yeah, no, you've never we seen this before. It's cool. We've never out. seen this before. Oh, God. <laughs> well, yeah, you can see that uh, also, Enoch, make sure to be on a full HP. You finish your long rest. Yep. Oh, uh, I don't think it. Well, I, it no. did all the energy. We all support. have low <laughs> HP. If one of us is hurt, we're all hurt. Here. <laughs> Every. I swear to God, all of you drink your damn healing potions. <laughs> I am. No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I... <laughs> no, I took a nap, and so all of my wounds, all of my stab wounds <laughs> well, suddenly are fully healed. Boss, anyway. damn it. <laughs> Anywho, they're like, we finally found you, old man. Yep, you, you see him, and you see the group is getting ready. They, they have weapons brandished, and ah, you can see and we... that the turtle actually is shielding a small child, child-looking <gasps> humanoid as well. <gasps> Him, ah, and, and we finally found you! And what exactly is going on here? Hmm. Hmm. And you can see that the gnome turns to you guys and he just speaks up. Oh, it looks like some adventurers isn't up in business they got no place in. Let's show them what they oh. should stand, eh, pals? Oh, do oh, you really want to do that right now? Because I am not in the mood. Okay. The sound of a reloading gun. <laughs> okay. Look, <I'm> Luna. <laughs> look, look, Luna. You can want to be in front all you want, but if you keep taking steps forward, we're both going to be in melee range. Yeah, all no. right. Okay. No, look, look, look. Give me. I, I was. Give I me was a combined trying. intimidation from Luna and Enoch. That's what I was trying to do. Oh was God. intimidate them because I really don't want to be in combat today. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. If we I can just, just uh, I fought an angel and these guys are Oh, okay. Okay, so look, this is where I start stepping into and being like, "All right, cracks my That is an voice. insight, friend. Oh fuck. Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, there hey, we go. Um, oh, there we go. We, better. We can always, <laughs> much better. Fucking Luna with her swords does nothing, but the gun on the other hand. <laughs> They've seen plenty of swords. A gun is new. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> They they kind of whisper to each other. I hey, I I I don't know that we can take them. And uh, you can no, see that you the definitely can't. the air the air genasi just like gets up and just like uh, taps the gnome on the shoulder. Hey, that's uh, that's the lieutenant's kid. Come on, let's get out of here. What? She has a kid? Yeah, of, of course she's got. A, do you want to deal with the guards? Mm. I'm gonna raise my eyebrows. I'm the police. <laughs> And I'm the I of am the police. The police. 
Wait, 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 wait a moment. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. One moment. <laughs> we, have, we have the pre-written in the witch chamber, <laughs> and I am part of the association. Do you really want to be fucking around with the daughter of the police, the police, and more police? Oh, I Let's promise. If you mess it, I, I promise. If you're going to mess with me, the police are going to be the least of your concerns. They so let's all. Not have today. With anything, and you guys just suck right off. They all put their hands up, and uh, mm -hmm. the gnome just uh, get out. Fine, go on. They head out. Don't trip on your way out. I wasn't uh, gonna actually shoot any of them. They were. Listen, you have pulled uh, out your gun so many times that I don't know whether or not you're going to. Okay, you you <laughs> freak me out. <sighs> really? Am I that terrifying? Yes, yes you I should... are, Enoch. Absolutely. You are, no, very trigger, you are very trigger happy. We will have a conversation about this later if you want that uh, if you want that laid out for you. Um, no, no, by all means, I don't want to. This is like ninety percent of my personality. <laughs> I put yeah, it yes, away. I, I, I realize that. All right. So yes, you guys <laughs> find Bullworth as fits the description given to you by Grickyak. Look at him. And this it's is art made by him. Cammy. Yay! Ooh, yeah. Very nice, oh. Cammy. It was very hard. I'm very. I, I, <laughs> I like the I like the texture you did for the uh, the shading. The brush texture is very nice. Thank you. You can see I that. I really uh, love his DTF eyes. <laughs> Hello, oh my Ugwe. god. And he, uh, you can see that with him is a small drow boy. Let me put a token on there. The uh, the turtle speaks up. Uh, Bullworth spe speaks up. Thank you, adventurous. I ho I owe you much and more. I will be returning to my business partner momentarily. I simply have a wound that I must nurse. <laughs> and you can see that he is clutching his side with one of his arms. Oh my god. Oh. Um, hit. Um, and I'd like to approach and... He backs away. Shirt. He backs away and holds up his other arm. No, 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 please. It is none of your concern. You have already done too much service for me. She's going to no. do it anyway. I... Please, I was... I'm kind of specifically looking for you. Ah, then you are a friend of Grikyak's. Yes, and he tells me that you're the person who takes care of the Raven Queen's altar in the church. Yes. I, I am. I had some questions for you. Hmm. Well, I guess those questions might change depending on how you feel about this. And he shows his arm. There is no wound. But his other arm, you can tell, has black veins on him. Ah, uh, fuck. Do I have the organization for you? <laughs> I, 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 and you I can see, at... you can see as he pushes, you see that he was also hiding something within the drow boy's arm. A, a little decrepit kitten, which is somehow still moving. Oh, oh. Uh... Oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I... I would like to know why a follower of the Raven Queen is dabbling in undeath. He gestures over to the to the drow boy. This is Condorin. The small cat was his, alive and well, before those thugs took it away and murdered it. I attempted to save it, but it was too late. The boy simply wanted one last chance to be with it before laying it to rest. If you wish to turn me in, so be it. I know only I... ask that the boy have his final moment with the kitten first. That's not my place. Frankly, I'm starting to believe there's a lot of grey area. Listen, it, I'm, I'm not going to do anything about what you've done. That can, that's between you and the Queen of Ravens. I. Oh, also, as you approach him, your sword goes cold again. <laughs> Dad, calm down. <sighs> I am incredibly lost. I. And I need some form of guidance, and I believe that only a follower of the Raven Queen can help me in this. Even if said follower may be a necromancer. I think I've met worse lately. Hmm. Very well. And you see the little boy, Conran, just walks up. Does that mean Bullworth's not going into prison? Not by my hand. I'd like to speak up, mm -hmm. uh, just from behind. Do you have 75 gold? Uh, perhaps Grikia can spare. Uh, I do not take the alms given to the Church of Eternals. I do not see it right. 
Fantastic. I would like you to come with us so that we can talk on the go. Mm. Um, Nathaniel, do you need 75 gold for something? Because if you're doing this to... An extra horse if he's going to leave the city, if this takes an exorbitant amount of time. It depends on how much information that you need from him. Luna's Consider it go- payment. Luna's going to go into our bag and I'll cover it. This is important. Consider it a fine from the city or whatever you would like. I will take care of it. Fantastic. Then let's move. Yep. And he As we talk. continues with you, hiding his hand while his other takes the boy and... Uh, he stops for a moment and just waits. And and Bullworth kneels down to Conrin. I am afraid it is too dangerous to walk around with that any longer, Conrin. You must say goodbye now. And the drow boy just hugs the kitten, which just kind of paws like unthinkingly around his back. Aww. And he holds up his black veined hand and you see a dim green glow as the cat slowly stops moving. And the boy sniffles a bit. I'm going to go bury him in the graveyard. Very good. Please stay safe. In the meantime, I've been watching Renee kind of take a walk. Yeah, Renee, how are you doing? She, as soon as the cat was pulled out, she just physically like moved as far away as she possibly could. She's keeping her back to the entire thing. If anybody's looking, she has like her hands kind of up. Um, a little bit towards her face, and she's taking very, like, controlled breaths. I am going to re- approach Renee, just very carefully. <sighs> you okay? Just, just tell me mm. when that is over. I, I can't, I don't need to be near that right now, I just... No, it's understandable. I get you. And... Not to you. Sorry, just... I I speak in Elvish. I do understand. And I turn around and... I'm gonna keep an eye and make sure that it stays out of sight of Renee. (sighs) Okay. Yeah, after the short conversation, you guys do walk and talk back to the Church of the Eternals. With Bullworth hiding his arm. When you get back in there... You're greeted by Grikyak, who has been waiting patiently. Ah, you found him! Oh, thank goodness! And he goes to hug him. Oh, pardon his arm! Pardon his arm! Bulworth's gone through many! And Bulworth just lifts uh, a hand. They know. Yes, he broke it. Obviously. Have you gotten the horses for us? Yes, they are waiting right outside. Grikyak found good merchant. Fantastic. Luna, have you gotten the answers that you need? No, I have not had a chance to speak with him yet because oh, we have been walking. Sorry, I'll <laughs> say on the way. That's my bad. Retroactively, Ret- let's go. Retroactive, Retroactive. Retroactive continuity on the yeah. way. Through time. While you're walking on the way, what do you ask him? I. I don't even know where to begin. I. I guess I'll start with the sword and the mm-hmm. weird shit that's happened with the sword. I don't really want to go through all of that in roleplay, mm-hmm. but just you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My father was visited by the Raven Queen. Now my sword's acting weird. I think I heard her voice in my head, and I have no fucking idea what this means. Mm-hmm. That's basically what Luna says. Yep. And uh, he tells you, that sword was made in the Raven Queen's image. Whoever made it must have had strong bonds to her in some way. Not in the personal sense, but relig- religiously so. Believed in her very much. It is unprecedented that the gods would meddle in mortal means such as this, especially the Raven Queen. That's but why I'm so confused. Whatever reason it must be, I know the Raven Queen, and what I can say is, I think you will be safe. Even I, and he holds out his hands, have sins to pay for regarding her, but she is oddly forgiving and kind. I she, I believe she was the architect of the sword. I don't think it was made by any mortal hand. The creator of the sword? That is very peculiar. The story that I was told was that she appeared to my father and gave this to him, and that's how it all began. It's mm. been, I've had it looked at a thousand times, but recently it's been acting strange. 
There have been instances of the gods taking multiple champions, but not the Raven Queen. Why would she want to do now? I do not know. I am sorry, but I am afraid you will require someone even greater than I attuned to the Raven Queen. I am merely a praiser, no priest. I do not speak to her. Well, thank you. Honestly, that's more than I've been able to get from Mass. And I thank you. You are very much like her. You are very kind, considering what I am. I've just learned a bit of perspective, is all. Thank Good you. Day. Yep, and then the whole thing where he goes back to Grikyak, Grikyak, buy some horses with you. And I, <laughs> I will say, while leading you out, retroactively, once the session is over, you can look through what his what wares what? and buy what you wish from him. Yay! Sure. Oh. Yay! Man, aren't we so good with all of these new items we have? Ah, good, ah, good. <laughs> Many items. I'm just going to throw Get 75 gold um, at Nathaniel. <laughs> yes, good. Ah. <laughs> so who's riding on what horses? Uh, well. Who's getting their own horse? Did we so, just buy four? I th no, oh. we bought, no, we no, bought we bought two three. so that we could double up oh. because I do not want to spend a bunch of money Yay. if I don't have to. <laughs> well, so me and Renee this... will take one. And then the two of you can have the other one. If I just yeah. wait, if I just put another seventy-five gold down, can I just buy my own damn horse? Damn. Sure, do that. <laughs> yeah. Spend yeah. your own money. So you it, buy three I'm horses. Not... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking side. I'm not gonna fucking side saddle anybody. Fuck okay. that. All right. Awesome. And you start to head. I assume this is the last thing you do before you start to head out of the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like for 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 I narrative name sake, my horse. I did. For narrative sake, we do not have to play it out. Luna did see off Scorpio because she did say she would. We don't yeah, have to do of anything course, with of that. Of course, of course. You Just see, <laughs> you see him off. Like uh, he he meets you at the gate actually, and oh. um, he he sees your horse and he seems very impressed and he follows you to you know through the the back end of the city, the northern part, until you reach the gate. And uh, just, you know, while you're there, just conversating with you and laughing and talking about the plans afterwards. There's, there's no... They'll, like, have dismounted and been, like, leading your horse by bridle. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, like, this. once you reach towards the end and uh, knowing that it's time for him to go, he just uh, kind of takes your hand with his one good one. So there's no way of convincing you uh, to take me with you, then. She'll take much... you after the ceremony! I would very much <laughs> love for you to come, but... I also, I need you here. Mm. Just in case all hell breaks loose, I need a competent sword here. Oh, but maybe if I slay a flesh golem or something, I'm sure I can find a... Ah! And he clutches on his side after I attempting to flex. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, you make I a good point. Or maybe I'll I, uh, lay in bed for a bit. Yeah, I'd like you to rest and just keep an eye on things here. Of like course. I won't yeah. be gone that long this time, I promise. You'll be safe out there, I. Right? Of course. Of course. Do you know me to be any different? I might come back with a new scar or two, but you won't be mad about that. Mm, I love your scars. And he goes in, he gives you a, uh, he goes in, kind of gently grabs your chin and gives you a gentle long kiss. Aww. Um, before she leaves, she'll just mutter, uh, uh I love you in Elvish. The only word she knows in Elvish specifically <laughs> for him. Uh, <laughs> And he says it back just as sultry. And uh, I will mount and uh, get ready to fucking ride out. Yep. Hiya! -yeah. I, uh, Hi I have named my horse. God. Nice. Clop, clop, my clop, my clop. horse's name is now Houston. Amazing. I will name my yep. horse Horse because that is what it is, and that is the only thing I will call it. Oh, I I'm love Centaur World. I was <laughs> It's important to name your 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 I'm companions. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna completely rip off another franchise and name it Roach. Thank you. Oh, uh, hey. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So as, as while well, you, oh no, go on. Yeah. Oh no, I was just gonna say like, since Renee is riding with Nathaniel, there is probably like she's clinging on a little bit tighter, of just like a, oh, still not necessarily comfortable with what's going on. But anyway, back to it. Yeah, you start to ride off, and you have one last little interruption. As you approach Who the, the northern gate, you see several guards standing at post. And between the two, 
at the gate on the floor, you see this. Um, what fuck? I, what? Cena. What? Oh. Standing guard. Okay. <sighs> I will kill your mother. Oh, please tell me I'm not about to fight my mom. <laughs> uh, you can see her standing there in the middle, arms crossed, look, looking dead ahead at you, Luna. I no, had no, no, suspicions hold. that you didn't come here just for a simple visit. Uh, I'll dismount and, like, something wrong? I swore to myself that I would have the guards not keep any special treatment in, or additional attention on you out of suspicion, but I still cannot help hearing what goes on in the city, especially after what happened at the factory. Luna, you mean to do something incredibly dangerous, don't you? Do you know me to be any other way? I know you stubborn enough to not be able to change your mind. Something I got from Dad. <sighs> Very well. She just takes one hand to, like, put on her forehead. Then I take no pleasure in that I'll have to inform the Viscount that I was unsuccessful in my attempts to stop the traveling group of adventurers from approaching Cloveway. And she gives a little smile at you, and pulling out her notepad, gives one swift scratch with her pen. Well, I'm sorry that we were such a handful. I'll make sure that we leave the city quietly. And hopefully this will not mar your record too much. The other Miss two guards Stewart. just look at her in astonishment. Lieutenant, are you sure about this? Oh, believe you me, I don't like this either, but something tells me this is a path she needs to take. I'm not in the mood to dictate how my child means to create her own path in life. And she gives you a little smile. You know, I like your mom. Luna looks like genuinely surprised. Wasn't sure at first, but you know I like her. I'm I just look at Renee and you know, you know what? Neither was I. <laughs> I'd like to pipe up from the back real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have misheard. Were you given orders to stop us? I'm given orders to stop anyone from going from, to Cloveway. That is a dangerous city filled with necromancers. It is uh, closed off. Of course, my apologies. Though, Aluna, if you would, I know you're in a hurry, but I do want to make this believable. And seeing as you seem to enjoy more unorthodox ways of passing the time, would you like to have a sparring session with me? I... Mother, are you sure? It seems like you like to fight, and I don't like to resort to violence all the time, but it's... We wanted to I... spend more quality time together, yes? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Trust me, I'm not used to this either. I don't even know... I, mean, I, I believe you're... You fought in the war. I know that you know how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I don't know some of the beasts you fell back in the upper mountains as well. I, I just look back at the others. Um, what is with your family and constantly fighting all the time? <laughs> do, do you think me and my father were any different? No, I just <laughs> find it very strange that this is how you show affection. <laughs> just literally like, punching each other. Like, what? I, I, I just like hold up one of the scars on my arm. Yes, this is exactly how we show affection. It's just, just from the last time my father knocked me on my ass. Hey, you don't want to know what ever happened in the church. So I can tell you that now. Okay, I don't need to know all of the the <laughs> I, yeah. No, this, the this, is, this is normal comparative to other th things. I suppose on your guard, Cena. Hmm. Uh. -uh. I want a clean fight. <laughs> no pulling yep. of hair. She she. <laughs> unsheaths her rapier and goes to a defensive stance and bows. You can see she's got a little playful smile on her face. Hey. If it goes um, into a clinch, back away slowly. I, Enoch, shut up. I know how to fight. <laughs> uh, and I guess I'm gonna... Uh, are we going into initiative or are we just saying what we're doing here? We're gonna, we're gonna say what we're doing, just like the same thing as Renee did with her dance battle. Okay, well, uh, Hell yeah. bonus, dun, 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 bonus dun, dun, action, dun, dun, Echo Dad right behind her. Boom, ba -dum, yep. Boom, ba -dum, so, yep, she, he appears <laughs> and she turns her head ever so slightly. Oh, that's gotta be freaky. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> gotta be scary. <laughs> what is the fuck are you doing? She's, she's like, that's such dirty play. She just, uh, looks at it. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. That's <laughs> dirty. That is going to take some getting used to. That is such dirty fighting, Luna! <laughs> Hey, that was a very I said I keep it clean. To as well. All right, if you want to have come back into my life again, this is just something I can do. All right, that uh, was very uncouth. So, 
Uh, Renee, I'm gonna need you to roll initiative. See who goes first. Who has the first? Me, set. Renee. What? Oh, sorry, what? not Renee. Luna. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Luna. No, I will roll initiative. Ha! We only roll twenties in this house. The last roll of the day for Nathaniel. All right. No. All right. Uh, what? One hundred percent. I pull out the bottle of whiskey and start passing it to the other two. <laughs> Renee's taking a swig. All right, Luna. <laughs> Unfortunately, your mother is quick on her feet and takes an immediate stab at Echo Dad a little too easily. Uh, and she stabs him, and you can see her clutching her sword hilt really strong, and she just kind of is taken aback at her own action. I think I have some issues to work out. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> that is some fucked up <laughs> shit. Oh my so god. Take a swig. And oh, she's, she's going to sidestep over here and try, trying to disorient you, I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, well, you know, I, should, I shouldn't be surprised. This is the woman my dad was with. Oh, that's a three. She kind yeah. of does a little <laughs> fancy footwork and trips you, you fall prone. Your turn. Oh, God. Okay, uh, that's clinch, it. clinch, clinch, clinch. Okay. Back away, back that's away. That's how it's going to be, okay. Well, half move it to stand up. Bonus action, Echo Dad right behind, and I am starting to take uh, some slashes. Okay, um, give me some attacks. And absolution again. Oh my god, okay. I can't, I can't fight my mom. <laughs> she yeah. parries them You're handily, so twing, twing, as she blocks both blows with like a swift single motion with her rapier over her head. And she doesn't even like need to take that much of a different stance. Uh, she... Her feet stand planted. <laughs> Now's so, your chance, charm her. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did that not, not you? Renee, Renee, get, sing a song. Renee, be, no, be, like, sing a song. I'm not going to rap about cheating. It's not cheating if you're it inspiring is her. <laughs> that is not cheating. You know okay. exactly what that doing that is cheating. All of you, all of you, shut the hell up. You're distracting me. <laughs> you can we back it if I have played. It's distractible if you can't deal with a couple of little, um, if you can't deal with a couple of hecklers during your fights. Okay, well, okay, that's gonna that's gonna make my next decision interesting. But yeah, that's my turn. All right. That was my action and my bonus action. She looks movement. at you, wailing rapid. It's just like your your sword like flailing about. Your time in the mountains have, have made your blows strong but sloppy. Here, like this, oh. and she she goes and makes a precise <laughs> cut. Ooh, Oof. she goes and makes oh, a precise mom. cut. Just very like. Uh, Slap. She doesn't cut you. She slaps her you with her blade just on the side of your arm, and it stings a little bit, but it doesn't draw blood. I can't she had just you're landed a blow on you. Mom. How much damage? Uh, you take one damage. It's nothing. Okay. It's just a little slap. Like she doesn't mean to harm you, and she's doing very non-lethal blows. She's just showing you where she could hit you if, yeah, you, if yeah, she really no, wanted. Uh, she's like, "You're open here. You're open here. You're open here." Yeah. Like <laughs> Luna, just like she just kind of like. Oh, God. It really is. Steady like, your aim. Take a breath. <laughs> Shut she, up, Enoch. Enoch doesn't need that right now. And she, she, I, I am being 100% a nuisance. She, she calls out, no, this is good. Sometimes you'll be distracted in the midst of battle. Oh, uh, yes, just not by that idiot. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she hey, is going to twist her... intelligence than you. She's going to twist <laughs> her Enoch, sword. Don't have friends. She twists her sword to be pointed backwards behind her. And she takes a very strange stance. And now it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> do you really? Uh, before I do what I may or may not be doing, I just look at her. Do you really want me to not hold back? Hmm. I want to see what all that time hunting monsters has done for you. Well, um, I think it's time for uh, my, me to use a new class ability, guys. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> oh I shit! Think, I think oh. it is time for a rage. Whoa! Oh, she's oh, gonna oh, go oh, to a rage! Oh, 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 oh. Level one barbarian. So there is a way this looks. Um, because every time Luna summons Echo Dad, her shadow elongates and connects with him. You see the shadow, her shadow again, rise up behind her, and it is like another, much more see-through visage of her father. As I enter my rage, my father okay. encouraging me, and I will begin to take my baps. Um, with the Show me the baps. Echo Dad. That Rage. is plus two to hit. 14? 14, unfortunately, is parried. However, when you hit it, you see sparks fly and she shifts her weight a little bit. She was trying, her defensive stance was attempting to do something, but you hit her so hard, despite not breaking her, her defense, 
hit, hits her so hard that it disables this thing that she was going to do. Ooh. And you knock her a little bit off balance. Mm, you're um, quite strong. And I'd like to do it again. Oh, shit. I have two attacks, remember? Hit him. Oh, she's fucking pissed. 14 again. 14. Once again, he's, she's dodging, but she's looking a little bit fatigued. You told me not to hold back. That is true. I'm getting a little bit more than I bargained for. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my turn. Okay. Up, so. This fucking family is into some weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. She is going to try and do a disorienting blow. First, she's going to have to attack you. Mm-hmm. My AC is a 17, by It the way. is a 17. Unfortunately, she rolled a 2. Even with her bonuses, that's not enough. She goes <laughs> She goes to do an unarmed strike with her offhand. However, you're able to just, like, move out of the way. It looks like something akin to something your fa- you saw your dad do in maybe a tavern fight once or twice. Very familiar <laughs> form. Huh. So that's why he learned that. Oh, bollocks. And that was one that- Wrist a lot. She is now in a disadvantageous position. She's off balance. Oh. Attacks on her now have advantage. Oh. Attack again then? You may. Yeah. Absolution. 14, 16 to hit? Uh, is that a 16? Because oh, wait, advantage. Because advantage. That's advantage. right. 16. Yeah. Yes. That hits. She tries to go parry it, but it hits and it kind of, you can see, see it ring throughout the blade as she parries it. And it, you can see that her hand stings a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, again. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Does a 26 hit? She goes, <laughs> she goes to Damn. parry the blow one more time. But the sheer weight of your blade and your arms swinging it snaps her sword. Ting! Um, fuck! And as a finisher for this, I would like to bonus actions, which places with dad, um, <sighs> to put myself behind her. Uh-huh. Damn. And, uh, <laughs> Unleash my incarnation to knock her on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, show me what is that? A, a it's it's just instant ab- transmission. It's, it's an absolution bap. That's all okay. It is. Absolution bap with advantage. Just, my my aim is just to get her on her ass. Is that right, this right, is right. the blow that'll knock her on her butt? Okay, yep. dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was supposed to be with absolution, but they had the same modifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. Jesus. You, you kind of sweep. With I, like a little with the hilt of the sword, so as it is gets all the weight with none of the blade, and you pff, and knock her basically paralleling almost the position that you were in at the start of the fight, and she falls on her ass and drops and... the broken sword. And, That's match. Yep, and she holds up both her hands. Well done, Luna. I'll dissipate, Echo Dad. Yeehaw! See, nice to know where father picked up some of his tricks. Oh, yes. And she just looks where Echo Dad once was, and you can see her smile fades a little bit. And she looks to you, and she gets up and just puts both hands on your shoulders, just rubbing them gently up and down. You have grown into such a beautiful, strong woman, Luna. Uh... Luna smiles a bit. Um, I... Thank you. And she pulls you in for a hug. She'll she'll let her. You embrace for a little bit, and she lets go. I understand that you need to be somewhere, so... No more time wasting. I I think if I wait any longer, the witch taker might charm me next. Hmm. (laughs) You know, it's never too late to go to college. (laughs) Very well. Gods, and she calls to them. They pull the gate open. She steps aside, and she uh, salutes you all. Mother, I thought you should know. Um, might be getting married when I get back, and I'd like you to be there. Oh. 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 Well, she just looks down. You can see that for for once, she's caught off guard. Ha <laughs> I... ha! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Oh, but there's so much to do. I I, I don't have time to get a dress, and I did. <laughs> she need to. she just, just puts both hands to like do a little breathing motion. <sighs> I just want you there. You don't need to do anything special. I'm so happy for you, Luna. <laughs> I am too. I'll see you when I get back. I will see you then. Hey, oh, re re remount 
Remount. Yep. Let's, Remount. Let's yep. get the fuck out of here and before you something ride, else stops me. You ride off <laughs> on, I think it's day eight or nine. I can't quite remember. I'll have to. I believe it's day eight. Day, day eight, eight of 14 as you ride off to the necrotic city of Cloveway. Let me grab you head out. A little bit oh, of the ride shit. going over some of the mountains. And as you continue, you're able to triple the speed of travel. Ooh. As Whoa. you head, Bizarre. you ride off, making time. And as you go over one last mountain, you see over the horizon a shanty town full of buildings and tons and tons and tons <gasps> of gravestones. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Art's no. beautiful, but Art, that's spooky. once again uh, by Angel. Uh, Art Angel. is great. I don't like the imagery. No. As, as oh. we get closer to the border, I actually begin to ask everyone, so who here has actually been beyond the border? That sounds like a nobody. Aside from me. Oh Hello? dear. Sorry, oh. uh, f uh f the um uh, just, just cut of God. Um, that's Cloveway. Yeah. Right. It looks like, better from a distance. Trust me. That does not make me feel much better about what we're going into. This is our mm. final destination. Nope. Getting back to Net Belkin is proper as our final destination. This is just along the way. It reminds me I have to tell you all something. Hmm? Hmm? What is it? Dear old dad says that our little friend from back in Ruggerwood is probably not in the best place right now and might be moving too fast in necromancy and that we can't trust Kara Mihalian. I didn't we think can't. we could trust her in the first place I know but the thought of mirth has always been in the back of my mind but I'm starting to actually feel a sinking feeling in my stomach well, then that just means we need to get to them faster. What are we going to do when we find him? I'll find handle them. them. I don't know. I'll handle them. I think we all need to handle them. Because I have a feeling it's going to take all of us. If we want to get them out of life. If we actually want them to have a second chance. We gave them a second chance. I'm gonna ask you guys something very personal. Yes. Please. I just... I want to spend a bit of time on them. You did? They are... No, more time. After all this, they are probably going through something... Life-changing. Everyone who has gone through necromancy has experienced something life-changing. That's what necromancy is! Life. Changing life. Or trying to change it. At the risk of going off on a long speech, Enoch, I made a promise to give you the truth. I feel it pertinent to tell you a story. Well then, let's set up camp and you can tell me your story. I think that's a good place to end it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Welcome. You guys mm. are outside of Balkanus's borders on Ooh. your way to Cloveway. Yeah. Fuck.